Welcome, Welcome back, back pop, pop stars. stars. I'm Rizzo. I'm Benji. And we are live. We're live. We this have is a, awesome. We I haven't done this in a year. Ooh, I let me, know. Let me go live on my Instagram. On Instagram. I uh, high key wasn't ready for that. I was like, oh, oh, there we are. Hi. It's I said going. it. I said it. Are we I live know. now? We are on there live now. Okay, okay, we're gonna do the the, the typical YouTube streaming thing. Hey, you guys hear us? Are we good? I How's the can sound? hear everything. I mean, we do have to check in though, because we had a few issues. Last <laughs> time. I know we did. Let us know in the comments how we doing, how we sound, how do we look? What kind of delay is on here right now, though? Um, it's a <laughs> ten second delay, if I remember Ooh. correctly. Ooh, we love a ten second delay. Yes. Okay, so well, we'll just wait for a second. Okay. Hi, everybody. How's everyone say? Ever you can spam the comments. Let us know, y'all. We're here. <laughs> you can spam it. I want to see a bunch of Fs or weird things. Come on. <laughs> Hi, we can hear y'all. Fuck yeah. That's awesome. awesome. We love that. This is I'm nervous, Benji. I don't know why. I guess because you're sharing your baby. Y'all, so last year we did a 12 hour stream and Whew. We were not about to do that again. We didn't have – I mean, not to say it will never happen again. Um, next time it might be a little shorter, or next time <laughs> it might be 12 hours again because I'll be off work. Look, um, but I know you will be off yeah, work. Yeah, this year it was more of like a – there was a lot going on, so we were just kind of like, let's do something live. Yeah. So first off, we want to say thank you all for joining in uh, – for tuning in. For our returning pop stars, first off, thank you so much. Um, you've been so patient with us. You've been so kind and loving. Um, and supportive. Obviously, this has been a rough year um, for both of us. Um, we wanted to do this kind of just to to reorient ourselves with y'all because um, I feel like we've just been kind of going nonstop with reactions and nothing really personable yet. Mm -hmm. Um, and on top of it, we want to say thank you because why, Benji? Because we hit 50K! We hit 50K! Yeah. Yo, that's uh, what's up, guys. Thank y'all so much. 50K, I know. We hit it actually a while back, but it just, there was so much going on mm -hmm. that I only found out like a day after. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know, honestly, I'm very thankful for that. I know it's been a little bit slower goings because yeah. we are the reaction channel that edits too much. Oh so says gosh. a lot of people. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> um, we did hit 50k like right around my birthday, though. I think it was oh, that's right, a day or two before my birthday. Hell so, yeah! So happy birthday to me from the pop stars. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you get. So hey, everyone, I see that we've got some people on our live on my. Uh, if you want to watch on Instagram, on my on my Instagram at Josiah J Rizzo. We're live there. And if you want to give me a follow on my Instagram, Benj Watch, go ahead and make sure that if you're following one of us, you follow both of I us. I should have put I should have put that in there. Y'all, <laughs> I, I redid everything for Twitch slash YouTube live like yesterday. And that's the reason I was late to a lot of things. I was just <laughs> cramming uh, too many. And we went to two parties. Yes, I went to two parties. You went to two, yeah. We I had a whole group costume. Mm -hmm. Benji, you want to tell people what we did last? We did Hocus Pocus. And I mean, if y'all aren't, if y'all haven't seen on our Instagrams, we did post the pictures there. Ooh, we'll, we um, should post it on. on uh, we'll post it on Pink Popcast also. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the pictures came out really good, actually. So they were amazing. Uh, we've got some good comments going on here. Oh, puppy's so cute. Yeah, puppy's a fucking monster, right? Fuck it. He's so. <laughs> God damn, son of she's, a bitch. She's trouble. She truly is, as her little caller here says, a bad bitch. <laughs> she in is in every a, sense of the word. Benji got her all of this. Anything cute that Bucket is wearing is all it, Benji's it's doing. From because Benji, because Benji was like, <laughs> she's gonna be a freak little. <laughs> and, and I'm the grumpy straight man being like, I don't want people talking to me with my dog. Oh, my gosh. Well, I saw the tutu and I was like, I know he's not going to want this much attention, but <laughs> I have to buy this. I think it's my gunkle-ish duty to get the cute things. That <laughs> your the, your gunkle-ish yeah, duty? That nice. the parents won't get. Nice. Uh, so, Benji, what we're, uh, we're, we're just kind of like, by the way, for those uh, tuning in, we're just futzing around right now before um, we have like. Yes, exactly. I think once we get a little over 100, we'll start kind of like actually guiding. What? Who were you yesterday? I was literally about to say somebody just said. Uh, you know what? Just said Benji has to be Sarah. And oh. I was like. I actually let me see if I can pull up. Instagram. You know, let me see if I can pull up Instagram and then I can show people what was happening. But yes, you were absolutely right. No hesitation. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all oh. know. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to hear my voice. Yeesh. Scary. 
Okay, one second, y'all. We're just messing around here. Hey, Benji, talk to the people. Uh, how you guys doing? <laughs> How's life? You know, how is y'all's, what it, what are, have y'all and are y'all being for Halloween this year? Um, let's, let's light the common stuff with that. Ooh, yeah. What's, what are the fun yeah. costumes we have this year? We're, uh, we spent the last, what, hour of the party that we were at last night planning on what our group costume is going to be for next year. And we're like, yo, we don't need to plan that right now. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. Let's see what are the comments. I love your edits. Congratulations. <laughs> Benji has to be Sarah. Yep. yep. Her little belly. Thanks. I know. I slap her the belly too. Belly. The little puppy belly. You could always post a live stream of Bucky creating chaos for five hours straight. And I can confirm we'll watch. Yeah, <laughs> I know you will. Okay. You guys ready to see Benji's costume? There's a few of us here. All right. Let's see. We're going to go to... Boys watching. There, there we is. are. And by we, I mean, there's Benji. <laughs> there's my girlfriend, Natalie. And there is my sister, who is absolutely slaying it as Mary. But Benji, Benji, do we see your boobs in these photos? Oh, Can I go next? I don't think I have a good booby shot. Oh, damn actually. it. Okay, so Benji really killed with the makeup yesterday. Do you want to shout out? I definitely did. Um, I did. What's it? I hiked up hiked up the chest and made some little boobies. <laughs> and we contoured the hell out of them. It His was sister um, helped me. But it, these are the three most important women in your life, yes? Yes. <laughs> yes, they are. Hold on. All right, let's see what else we got here. So this is all of us. I am... I am Danny. Uh, Chris, who you're actually about to see, Chris is in the web series that we're about yes. to watch. He was um, obviously he. For your information, <laughs> he's, he's a, a little leaguer. <laughs> Fantastic! Um, oh, you didn't get to say that last night. I said it a lot of oh, times. Okay, I, you just okay. weren't around. I wasn't around. Uh, Chris's wife Jess was obviously Allison. Ooh, yeah. Allison, <laughs> Allison, kiss me, I'm Allison. Allison. I heard that line a few times last night. <laughs> um, <laughs> there is obviously Benji slaying it as Sarah. Yes. Uh, Natalie is Winifred, and she's killing it. She, uh, she, she was giving. She in does every the picture. face really she well. Got, Every time. <laughs> and oh my God. <laughs> your sister. I can't. With Grace. her doing the the uh, the mouth for Mary, she was just on point. It was amazing. It was and it so hit me because I had seen your costume previously. I'd seen Natalie's costume. Mm -hmm. But Grace's, my sister, um, was not prepared for the level of commitment she gave, especially for yeah. someone who only like recently watched. Yeah. Like uh, Hocus it's Pocus. a newer movie more or less for her. Um, so. let's see. Well, and someone just said Rizzo as Danny's actually perfect. I'll let you know. Danny is probably my favorite character in that movie. Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. I think so. The more I rewatch it, the more I'm just in love with Thor Birch's, uh, performance it's like it could have easily been an annoying character no she's so lovable Shh. she's so the perfect little sister that you love huh. to hate sister what did she say when she's like i i called you when she tries to pan, uh, play off that she's one of the witches uh sisters was i that called you back <laughs> what that brought you back for stinky g I am not prettier than you. I just had a friend who does makeup, <laughs> and I definitely went to my, her and got my makeup done. My costume is guy on couch watching Simpsons Halloween special. That's good. I love that. Oh, yep. fantastic. Let's see, wait, really? That's iconic. I know. These are amazing. Has some gam. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Benji does have some gams. I love it. I, You know? Yeah, I'll be up in the gym just to working on my fitness. He's my witness. <laughs> I was going to bring a Buketa as Thackeray as Banks. Thackeray. But Unfortunately, we were a little bit late, so you didn't have time to curve by because it would have been great to have her in the picture. It would have been good, but also um, I wanted to get drunk. Or yeah. I wanted to – and I had to I, – I took the photos – so literally, it's not the photographer. Oh it's yes, uh, yeah, Josiah. Well, that that light that they had Spit there it. at the party was so Thank good you know. for pictures, yeah. and they all came out really well because we had an awesome Riz photographer. Thank you. Talk about being a good Instagram boyfriend. Wait, maybe I should this chat box. Let's see if I can. Uh, oh, can we see. show him the walk? The walk. Oh yes, <laughs> is it on this one? Yeah. Okay. Always show messages. All right, leave the message. I'm just putting it in. Yeah. Okay, and then. There them again. Okay, okay. That's so good. Hold on. I've been staring at these pictures all day, y'all. I'm so sorry. Benji <laughs> slaying. <laughs> Thank you, Melinda Wilson. Ooh, thanks. Um, and then <laughs> <laughs> You know, you showed me that last night, but I think at that point I wasn't as I was a little not sober. So but this was also this was a better version of that picture. Oh, OK. So I didn't see. 
Oh, and here it is. Let's see if I can mute it. She lit the candle! see that they know how to do that. And then there's one last one. There's one last one? Oh. The comparison. That's amazing. Y'all okay. killed it. Oh, Benji's giving me Todrick vibes. I used to get that a lot. Did you really? I haven't gotten it in a while. Uh, it moved over to um, Childish when he got popular. But I used to get Donald Todrick. Glover? Donald Glover. I, I used to get Todrick a lot before Donald Glover got That's popular. That's so fun. Oh, someone <laughs> said they're going to do a, a Kim Possible. <gasps> yes, Kim Possible. We and make it a black it. girl version of Kim Possible. Hell yeah. <laughs> we were, that was actually one of the ideas we floated last uh -huh. night. At I, some point, well, I, I would love to do Kim Possible. I love her. I, because Natalie was saying it'd be fun for her and I to do like a dra dra Dracon and Shigo. Dracon and Shigo. Yeah. My first thought was like, I want to be Shigo. <laughs> I mean, I would I would die <laughs> to see those two gender swaps I, and see her be Dracon. I loved Shigo growing up. She yeah. was one of my one of my cartoon crushes. Yeah, obviously, absolutely. And there's just so many good characters on there. I could also see you being the naked mole rat. You could what be, is his voice? Give Rufus a... <laughs> All right, we okay. are three away, but you know what? I mean, we're 13 away, but we'll start talking. 13 All right. away from Let's what? go back to full screen. Okay, what's up, pop stars? So Hi. This is, this is a funny thing. Let's, um, story <laughs> time. Back in 2000 and... 14, I moved out to California. I moved back to California for about like eight months. And during that time, I was in the process of writing this story and it went through so many variations. Um, inevitably, I settled on the six scripts that you're going to watch. Um, we wanted to make a web series and I was always drawn to kind of late night adventures. Um, I was drawn to the idea of kind of turning the world that um, – that we know around us into something magical. I always, I always like to call them backyard adventures. The idea that you could go outside in your backyard and have an adventure and have the same access to adventure that like you would see in a major motion picture. Um, and I really, you know, if this was going to be like one of my first major projects, that wasn't just a group of friends. Like we were actually going to raise funding for it. Mm -hmm. um, we were going to get like an actual cinematographer, some locations, some locations. And boy, oh boy, did this turn out to be kind of an intense undergoing. And to be fully honest, this was this is the last major project I had done for a while because I put so much heart and effort into it. And honestly, it was it was heartbreaking to kind of like do it for people and then realize that not everyone was into it and for it to not kind of go anywhere. And it was oh. just like one of those things that w when it came out, I, you know, like you're, you're raised in an environment. Where it's like anything you could do, uh, you'll it's exceed it. Amazing. And then suddenly you're like, no, the real world's kind of like you're hit or miss sometimes. Yeah. So, you know, it was, it was definitely, I, it's something I'm very proud of. And now looking back on it, I can be very impressed with some things there. I'll let you know. We're going to have some trigger warnings. We're going to have some cringe warnings. And, you know, we are not immune to criticism. Like, we crit critique other people's stuff. We're going to critique the shit out of our own yeah. stuff. Like, don't don't get it twisted. We are <laughs> – I'm going to rip into my own direction. I'm going to rip into a lot of my own um, – and I just be like, what are you talking about? <laughs> they did so good. You know, the normal they, dynamic. They did so they good. Did, us. They, they were trying so hard. The us that was us from, what, 10 years ago? That is like, that's the thing too, who is, even is she? So <laughs> there are some things that I'm actually really impressed with um, just in terms of what we tackled before it was like commonplace. Cause, so trigger warning, and I don't know how I exactly have to phrase this, but there are themes of being unalived in this in this show. We will – We'll let you know. We don't show the actual act of it happening, but there is like the first image. Honestly, is something that um, can be jarring. It can be jarring. We will let you know verbally once that image is over. Um, but even at the time, like I was just talking with Natalie yesterday about how it's crazy that, um, and I don't know if the actress is going to be in the comments right now. But when I was talking to our main actress about like, hey. You're going to do this character, and I don't want to – this is back in 2015. I was like, I don't want to give you a reason as to why you've unalived yourself. I don't want to get into the particulars of, of anything because to me that's not important. What's important is the fact that no matter – and I had cast her too because I was like, you're, you're, like, people would look at you and think, what's wrong in her life? What does she have to be sad about? And I was like, no, that's the point. The point is like anybody can be dealing with this dark 
hard depression if you don't have people reaching out or if you don't know how to deal with it that's going to be difficult to go through and while i'm i'm ashamed i'm going to put it out there i fridged um self-inflicted self-inflicted uh, unaliving yourself so like i said it's it's kind of a lighthearted thing in some aspects but we do deal with heavy subjects we will let you know the triggers um because i'm very respectful for that but it's so funny because like when when I was talking about this, and I'm going to say up front, some women die in this, and I'm not happy with the fact that I fridged women. And you know what? The next project I make, more men will die than women, okay? And women won't die to teach men a lesson. I am sorry I did that. Yeah. There's going to be a few things it's I It's okay. Bought. He came from a conservative Christian <laughs> southern household, and we know how that can be sometimes. Yes. <laughs> I didn't realize how much in media, like, women's death are used as a catalyst for male characters. So it was good that now I can kind of turn that around. But, um, yeah, not really happy with that. However, I was happy with the fact that I was – when we were tackling it, I wanted people to realize, like, sometimes it's not fully your responsibility and there's only so much you can do for people and you can't burden yourself with that. Then fast forward a year later, freaking 13 Reasons Why comes out. It came and out a year after? It was like a year-ish after, and the entire show's like, oh, ooh, watch out. Oh, your tape's the worst. Oh, your tape's the worst. And he's like, oh, I should have done something. It was my fault. It's like, my fault. It's no, like, it wasn't. Like, mm. she told you to leave. Like, <laughs> you literally cons- – she told you something. You consented, even though you were an you asshole. Tried, most. Yeah, you but <sighs> it's Fucking show. Anyways. I hated that show so much. I love you, Selena Gomez, but I hated 13 Reasons Why. I didn't hate it. I just, I was like, I didn't fully agree with it for sure. Big oof double rip combo meal with fries, my guy. I know, Stinky G. I know. I know. <laughs> I <laughs> what know. does that even mean? I'm well, confused, but apparently you're hashtag canceled from that guy. I'm hashtag canceled because <laughs> I fridged women. Look, I'm not happy about yeah, it either. Yeah. <laughs> we will, we'll push on. That's why I haven't like pushed this. Um, Anything you want to say about it? Like, just the process of um, creating this it? This was, you know, this was one of our first things we really took on together, more yeah. or less. Uh, I say, quote, unquote, together because I wasn't, like, part of making it. But I, I'm more so than most people. Uh, we, at this point, we had only know th- known each other for about three or four years. Yeah, we hadn't really known each other um, that long. And uh, you, you found yourself trusting me with sending me scripts and getting my input mm-hmm. and things like that on uh what you were writing and i was like i i I don't know if i was one of the only ones or the only one or whatever but i was kind of like oh okay cool like that's i appreciate that you are trusting me with that so i kind of still look at it as like our first joint venture yeah in that aspect well (laughs) it was definitely i so this was based off of a lot of the adventures that me and my childhood best friend had had together um just kind of going out late at night and like again um Again, just the feeling of like when you go out and that the sun sets, anything can happen. And I've always loved stories that take place. It was one of the reasons why you knew I was going to like Hocus Pocus. Mm-hmm, absolutely. It, it's very much that vibe of like, hey, the sun sets and who knows what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Um, and I guess when we met, it was around the time when like I realized I was like evolving the story from more than just. And here's the thing, y'all. This story makes no goddamn sense. I am proud of the emotional beats of this this show i was like it's not that it makes no sense it's just that if you read too much into it it doesn't make any goddamn sense but you it's because the funny thing was people generally would understand what happened they just didn't know right. why they didn't know why <laughs> and here's the thing my inspirations when writing this show uh-huh. were and i i quote pirates of the caribbean which gets very complicated in the in the second and third movie yep breaking bad community and Parks and Rec. Oh, and Lost. If those are well, not. Well, Lost is where you lost <laughs> us. That was the problem. Um, someone says they can't hear Benji. Oh, it's Gabby. Hi, Gabrielle. I see your voice. His, his voice is always low. I don't, um, I don't yell when I talk. <laughs> <laughs> Look, here's the thing. Those five shows are some of the most, like, they are not conducive for. i am always been obsessed with the type of writing where people don't actively say things and you have to like pay attention to looks. I say all that and my a lot of the choices I made as a director are very cringe, so I can't wait to dissect that. Yeah. Parks and Rec. Yeah. I think um yeah, see yeah. people they like the vibe of it though. It's a fun vibe for sure. 
just go with it. Don't ask too many questions. <laughs> <laughs> we'll um, answer. So, you know, we, we could stop. Let, let, we could talk. Why don't I show you our original? Because we raised, we ended up raising about $20,000 for this, which uh. is another one of the reasons why I ended up being very depressed afterwards when I didn't go anywhere. Because <laughs> I didn't know what to do with it. You're just like, what? So, we spent so much money. We're going to watch a few teasers before we actually get to the web series. Um, <laughs> I'm going to show you the original, what's it called? The um, Kickstarter. Oh. This came out in like 2000 and oh, I don't even remember. All the way back, huh? Lisa Somebody, <laughs> Stinky G said, the phrase, I see your voice, sounds weirdly creepy out of context. <laughs> I see your voice. Okay, so we're about to watch our first Kickstarter campaign. And yeah, let us know what you think. Oh my God, this is bad. I'm so nervous. I, haven't, I actually haven't watched this in forever. I haven't watched these in so long, any of it. Nighttime, the uncharted yes. frontier. I hate it. Yes. <laughs> oh, the streets no. are quiet. The lights Second are dim. The possibilities are endless. I'm just so young. All you I have like to it. do is answer the call. <laughs> because when the sun oh my sets, no, my mic anything sounds like can happen. Off? I mean, no one else has said his mic's off. Hi, I'm Anybody Josiah Rizzo. Oh, it might be a thing. And I'm like here the... to introduce you oh, to the world of Tinseltown. Working on it. Down next to Tinseltown is a dark there comedy about two Hello, best friends whose night spirals she was probably on out of control. A local reverend has prophesied the end of the world. With only hours to live, our heroes set off on an epic quest to find famed actress Rosie Monaghan. Oh my but god. Their night is, takes I a drew dark all these turn, by the way. Bring you face to face with I don't a secret know organization his little who have their own plans he does, for Tinseltown. <laughs> Christopher like Lubeck stars as our hapless hero, stress. Danny Swan, a lovable writer struggling with his own inner demons. So awesome. Benji Jones is Puckett Green. Oh Danny's my god. Best Baby friend Benji. And catalyst for their Hollywood manhunt. <laughs> oh, with my Aiding them on their quest is the king of party, so an elusive local legend who has his own hidden motives. Now, oh I've been God. making films. Uh, oh, five what years is old. that? Why? You got your director. Why is the scarf? You gotta have your director's scarf. Ah, not the scarf. <laughs> oh, God, not the flexing on my. I love it. My old projects. It's pretty bad. Oh, my goodness. Hey, I mean, it worked. <laughs> oh, my God. This time, however, is a more professional endeavor, expanding beyond my uh, own yes, personal professional, abilities. Yes, professional. Very professional. In the beginning, there was party. Oh my we god, there's Baby Benji and Baby Grace! No. Oh my god! <laughs> Tinseltown is a collaborative Look effort with a cast and crew of talented Oh, this was our focus Excuse on me. growing as Fuck filmmakers. This is back on the text of that his face. We have scouted our locations with production set to begin next month. Oh my god, now, for this is so fun. for Tinseltown to the way we envision, we need your help. Yeah, Our I know that scarf. No, no, actually, I like the drawings. I want to preface. I'm, I'm Once proud of my drawings. Oh, the drawings are great. I don't like my scarf <laughs> and my walk. Post production and this. Oh, and the double duty. Lisa, can I have some more? Oh my God! I <laughs> so we must meet our. Well, the humor has The changed. humor has Clearly. not changed. I still laugh at that shit. Skin dark actors fed. Leave it. And in return, well, why don't I let my fictional friend explain? Oh God! Hey there, ladies and germs. The name's Sullivan. Chad Sullivan. Yeah, yeah, now, I know. Let me start the, off the by putting an end to all these pesky rumors that it's, I, you Chad know, Sullivan, it's, am a madman in some of its crazy time. cult. <laughs> sort of. As if. This well, you the know scarf what? dates the video That's for sure. Shut up! If somebody did, if they did, I would kill them. Um, not the two Rizzos. Slowly. <laughs> Only good thing to come from January 6th with this series I see. Thank you, Megan. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god. Our Kickstarter rewards include I cannot wait for y'all to get to know to the character of Chet Sullivan, because that's still to my day, this day, one of my favorite characters. You're a dying ever. servitude. <laughs> Oh By the way, that was my childhood best friend. So we were the ones. We did a lot of. We had a lot of shenanigans and misadventures together. Hey, Bucky, Sparks. can you stop trying to but choke me? But supplies are limited, so the early bird gets the worm. Now our objective is to have all six okay. episodes. Okay. Well, this is long. I'm done with this. this. Halloween. 
And if you rascals can't wait that long, you can join us for the countdown. What am I doing? Uh, and we release know. a new episode each day for six days, ending on the 31st. Oh, we didn't. There you have it. That. Oh, we did. No, we ended rascals. up releasing them all at once. Right. So answer the call. Donate to Tinseltown. And What's help up, movies in depth? Hey, I'm Josiah Rizzo. And remember, and this. This beware the nut. Ugh, boring. Oh, wow, I forgot this I ending. Uh, what? No, okay? Unless there's a car crash or an explosion every five minutes, it is not a real movie. Hey, a car crash every five minutes is a <laughs> great movie. You know what's going to happen and you know when. It's yep. suicide. How does this end? Oh, me with my little Invisalign and my own chips here. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, my God. There's so many things to talk about in this. Back when literally everything I owned was Hollister or Africa. So bad. <laughs> what oh, did wow, you say? We had that couch in our apartment for the longest time. So parents gave us that one when we moved out. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. We definitely do watch Caravan of Garbage. Okay, y'all. No, no. We're done with that. Done with that. Back to full screen. Okay. Does it count as an ad if we... Play someone's ad I'm in not our life. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Adception. Okay, so <laughs> we are going to start getting into it. I'm going to show you a few teaser trailers that I edited. Um, yes, I definitely, I edited all of this stuff, by the way. Um, a few things I want to note. Chris Lubeck, who is the other main character uh, opposite of you. Chris Lubeck, the day before our first read-through in January, mm. fell and broke his back and could have died, by the way. So I know Chris. Hey, there you go. Say hi, Chris. Chris. <laughs> Say hi He's to the pop here. stars. We are so happy that Chris is actually alive because well. he didn't he, he could have he eh, that could have been a thing. Um so Preston who had who who you just saw opposite of me, my childhood friend, he ended up having to read his part and the um in the read through. And then we made some changes to the script that involved a lot of his scars and kind of we worked around his it. braces, yeah. So I'm super excited. It's time to watch uh the teaser, the actual teaser. Oh my God! Oh, I am thank a, you, Dustin. I'm nervous. <laughs> okay, we're gonna watch a few of them because I, I love teaser trailers. I'm obsessed with teaser trailers. I, as a kid, would make trailers before I would actually make movies. Your trailers, I your teasers are great. I will say that for sure. So uh, if everyone's excited, say something in the chats. Be like, "Yes, play yes, the trailer, bitch." We're excited. Yes, yes. bitch, tra play the trailer. There we're is also a ten second for ten seconds. There's a ten second they... delay. So oh, we're gonna assume that you said yes. Okay, here we go. No, we're gonna wait. Just gonna wait. Okay, just gonna wait. Wow, he's just gonna really wait. milking it. Just gonna wait. Oh my gosh. Just I don't think wait. he stepped on a crack, but he definitely fell and made a few. Just <laughs> gonna wait. Just there we go. All right, here are the yeah. comments going in. All right, here's the first teaser. This one was made based off the social network teaser trailer, so you can see the vibes. Oh wait, oh no, I forgot to switch the screen. I'm a noob. Here noob. we go. What are we watching? <laughs> The end is coming. The sun will be darkened and the stars will fall from the sky. Then he will fill us with horror so we may know he is the Lord. doesn't exist <laughs> anymore so don't try and go to what is tinseltown.com yeah. okay so we've got oh hi gabby glenn she hi. was also in the show okay um uh, you too. so that was the teaser teaser um can you stop eating the why are oh you goddamn gosh. monster <laughs> um the next trailer we're gonna watch is uh the trailer we shot like it was like the one that came after we finally did like we shot everything. Mm -hmm. uh, it was before a lot of the effects and the color correction. Um, a little preface: this story was based off a lot of the stuff that I dealt with in Texas, when we would legitimately have pastors from small churches claim that the world was going to end because they had prophecies. So it's insane. Um, and so we built. We were like, what if someone was trying to have a crazy late night adventure during the end of the world? Because they thought there would be no tomorrow. So all right. With that being said, is this? Oh, God, this is such an old trailer. Oh, okay, here we go. 
This is after In the we beginning, got filming finished. There right? was yeah. the party. Don't you oh, want to go out with a bang? There's a storm coming. Death draws to you like lightning, Daniel Swan. What in the name of Bob Pika? Oh my god. No! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Nice. I have strived in vain for the soul of the temple town. They must be taught a lesson. And by golly, they will be. What did you have in mind? The end of the world. You know what they say, nothing good happens after midnight. Nope, again, there is no, there is no what is Tinseltown.com. Not so anymore. I mean, you could look it up. Let us know what's there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to watch one last trailer, y'all. And then we're going to get into the real thing. Actually, we're going to watch two because I'm obsessed with my trailers. <laughs> <laughs> so this was a, an exclusive sneak peek. We played this for a few people. But oh, no, no. Again, Charlotte, the audio mixing was atrocious. <laughs> I did not know. And I still don't really know how to audio mix. So, <laughs> yeah. You're the audio is going to be pretty person. shit. We also didn't have an actual boom operator, so. Shall we? <laughs> All right. Good morning, Tinseltown! Tonight really is the end of the world. Don't you want to go out with a bang? Traversing the city in an epic quest to find the most amazing actress to ever come out of Texas. No, 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 no. Shut Please up. don't. Please shut up. Are you Rosie Fanboy 2 for a second? Yeah. Is she? Is she gonna be some things I I don't know. To you. Oh. But I know someone who would. Oh god, the audio mixing is so bad I can barely hear it. You summoned me. In the beginning, I think it's there a little better in the, the party. show, but and the, the gods were decided rough. upon one man to carry forth their legacy. The, the king, king of party! party! Before that time, I was nobody oh, who wanted to dance. He knows the night like the back of his hand, and he can find those who dare brave the darkness. Even the famous actress who's visiting her old hometown. Boo! Oh, wow, that? I know this way too yeah. well. Yeah. Well, I think so. First, edited it over and over again for hours. Yeah. This is it. We're gonna be famous. Oh, We're gonna sorry, move to Cali and get an apartment that's gonna be just like the cast of Friends. Catch Friends, Batch ads. Real actors don't gloat. What's going on? Who are you? Miles Masterson. Master Masterson. Masterson. Everybody calls him Skittle. Nobody calls me that. Why do they call you that? Nobody calls me that. Uh, yes, Benji's car bit. is inspired by Shark Tank. Absolutely. That is the car. That is the Shark Tank car. I still fucking love this piece of these arts. Okay. I mean, this trailer is good. You're welcome. If nothing else works out for you, you could definitely see some trailer work. <laughs> so much slapping up. I got slapped what, three or four times in this series. Yeah, there was a lot of slapping. The is the All right, will be there we go. Definitely keep that great. Okay, one official last trailer, y'all. You guys ready? Are y'all ready? No, wait, hold on. Where is it? Okay, I don't remember where it is. Uh, stop grunting, you old dog. No, no, that, stop that. Uh, oh, here we go. Final trailer. Oh, what about the little the uh, end, TV yeah. that me and Chris made? I don't remember that. What is that? Does that even know, still we exist? We it before the premiere, remember? Oh, is that on there? It's somewhere. Okay. Here is the final official teaser trailer. This one gives this one was done after I actually finished the series, so it might be a little bit better. I can't remember. Here we go. Three, 
Two, one. The end is coming. No, not yet. The sun will be darkened and the stars will fall from the sky. And he will fill us with horror so we may know he is the Lord. That's spooky vibes going on. If tonight really is the end oh, of the world. Oh, hold on. Sorry. There is an image in here that uh, has to do with unaliving yourself. So close your eyes if you're triggered. Don't you want to go out with a bang? And still, it's and still happening. Tonight. I'll tell you what. I cannot believe you got me into this. If I die, it's all your fault. Is this really the end? So. Okay, right here. Close your eyes. Boy. If you're triggered, please. So. So. <laughs> we have big plans. <laughs> this was original score, by the way. Are you bored your everyday routine? Right. This was all Is done by our composer, David you Fish. high, Strum? Do you wish someone would give your life a swift kick to the balls? Is, uh, that you may not know Rizzo? me, but we that sure know us. <laughs> Why? Because we're <laughs> your eyes in the sky. sky. The amount but of times I quoted this. Your and darkest desires are our specialty. This is it. We're going to be famous. We're going to move to Cali and get an apartment that's going to be just like the cast of Friends. This is but it not, was one not of the stories just like the cast of Friends. Right. There is a crazy person Hell yeah. running Emily around totally out there with a, a freaky star. mask, an ugly jacket, and a knife that is as big as my <laughs> Oh my god, you get slapped so much. <laughs> I know, that's what I'm saying. Embrace I can't get it. Embrace the night. It just definitely had some aggression it against me. Yeah, Enough out, friggin' apparently. death! We're gonna go home and forget about this night. And if I ever see you again... And then Rizzo trying hard that? to be real cool. Your friends are gonna get famous. That's crazy. That's that. <laughs> Like they say, nothing good happens after midnight. I'm very proud of that title card. Title card. Hell yeah. Again, don't go to whatistinseltown.com. Do it, it does not exist. Do it. Don't let him tell you what to do. <laughs> Holy shit, y'all. Are you ready? I am ready. So yeah. Pizzy Rizzy has to take a Pizzy. <laughs> We're going to do a one to two second intermission. And by one to second? two second, I mean 30, 30 second intermission. Some of those slaps sound painful. Yeah, there was a little bit of audio dubbing, though. We they were in. they were stage slaps. They didn't hurt that bad. But I also was like, just go ahead and make it a good slap so we only have to do one or two of them, and then we can move on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe maybe not intermission yet. But, Benji, do you think you can hold the fort while I'm gone? Uh, while Pizzy Rizzy takes I a Pizzy? Pizzy Rizzy needs to hurry up and take a Wizzy. Okay, get them hyped up. We I want to play it. I want it to be over 100 when we play. I don't, uh, know, I don't know what they can do. How am I supposed Hype to? Hype them up, Benji. Hey, everybody. Make sure that you um just. I'm also gonna bring a treat. To Actually, I'm gonna give my dog some water real quick. <laughs> Everybody, call your friends and send them the link and tell them to hop in and and be like, "Hey guys, hey, watch this." Anyways, that's cool. Um, this is definitely something that I have not watched in a very long time. So I am definitely interested to see all of the things that I've forgotten about this. Um, super excited, super nostalgic to see my old car. I miss her. She was super sweet. That was the Sharpay inspired car. <laughs> um, and it might have gotten repossessed, you know, when we were struggling, just moving to LA, but you know, no big deal. We move on. We got a car now. Everybody's happy. <laughs> we're all here together on YouTube and we're killing the game. <laughs> uh, Say say the catchphrase. Catchphrase, batches. <laughs> I love that. That was super fun. But I mean, let me. I I I I guess. Oh look, look look. We got we got somebody coming back in here. Catchphrase, batches. There it is. <laughs> Hell yeah! All right, all right. I am super excited, y'all. Um, again, we're gonna be explaining a lot of things going on in the story because there are some confusing aspects. My dog's barking in the background, hopefully. She's very codependent, y'all. I don't know if anyone here in the comments has pugs, but they are bred to basically die if you're not spending 24 hours a day with them. Oh, My goodness. I love like her. like me. 
I know. Everyone in my life just demands so dependent. my attention. <laughs> um, Al- wait, Alfred's team said Benji the trailer gave me Am I the Drama <laughs> vibe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. True. I'm super excited. This came out seven years ago. I had been writing it for a very long time. That's it? Oh, I'm, right, because we've been talking. Go ahead. I'm I'm very proud of it. I'm, there are things I am uh, I will call out for myself, and there are things that we're going to make fun of. Um, and I'm going to be pausing and explaining because the way my brain worked, I loved all of the I loved all of the the twists and turns and uh, unspoken drama of like the Pirates of the Caribbean series. So I was obsessed with characters making decisions that were about double crosses and things that no one actually explained. And on top of that, I had planned six seasons out for this show. So I will explain to you what, what is happening. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you know what? Maybe we'll get some more content from this. Hey, we'll honestly, do a retrospective. I don't think I would do Tinseltown again, but yeah. we have we've. I'm still obsessed with the idea of late night adventures. So um, you will definitely be getting the uh, Hocus Pocus Five will be directed by <laughs> by Jay Ryan. I'm giving you some time. <laughs> okay, pop stars, are y'all ready to watch our first web series ever? We'll just wait for them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hit it, someone says. Okay. Um, let me make sure. And we preemptively said hit it so we wouldn't have to wait for 10 seconds. <laughs> I like That's nice. Smart. Okay, cool. All right, y'all. Let's do this shit. Three, two, one. Engage. engage. <laughs> All right. Okay. This okay. Is like, like watching videos from like high school. I know it's something. like watching like your own home video. Okay, yeah, here we go. Again, like, trigger warning for the first scene. Trigger warning. Like actually. Uh again, I know we didn't do we didn't actually show things happening and we didn't give people tips on how to, but There's it is some after please. It is triggering. We love you. Do not be here if we're gonna hurt you. I am so sorry. Love y'all. Here we go. Three, two, one. You know, like what, like what that says. There you go. Even, even before, you knew. <laughs> Gabby says she's here for a season two. <laughs> <laughs> so, first image is very important too, and I'll explain that later. But I fought really hard over what the show would start off with, because again, I was planning for six seasons and a movie and a movie. Okay, that was a rough image, and this was a rough day. This was literally the first thing we shot, and we spent two or three hours on this shot. This is rough. And, of course, Chris was waiting in the car for, like, two or three hours. Um, by the way, this was based on a, on a, some real stuff that happened in Chris's life, so him and I actually wrote this together. Oh because it was very important for him having gone through a lot of this himself. Uh, and I think I think we did his friend justice. Good morning, Tinseltown! It's 6 a.m. here in our sunny state of Texas. Yeah, the whispers were supposed to represent depression. Yes, are over the horizon. That is, if we make it out alive. That's right, tonight is the end of the world. And so this is a guy I worked with at sorry, freaking Six Flags. He was the voice of Six Flags. He Six Flags has a voice. That license plate was fake. We made it. I, I went somewhere and had it made. Okay. Um, oh, God. There's so much to explain. So long story short, Benji is supposed to be working in, like, an underground pay them and they will help you relive movie-like type scenarios. I don't know how to explain it better than that because I never knew how to explain it. Moment, I had a huge crush on one of these guys. Did you really? I flirted with him for hours on set. <laughs> and we still follow each other. <laughs> that shot was, by the way, reminiscent of Finn's, in, uh, Finn's intro in Star Wars Awake, uh, Force Awakens. Uh, no, 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 please don't. Please don't. Shut up. Are you Rosie Fanboy237? Whoa. Are you Rosie Fanboy237? Okay. I was like, ads? <laughs> Okay, yeah. so the watermelon was... <laughs> <Is she? laughs> I'm going to pause for a second. <laughs> Explain yourself. The watermelon was an idea I had had since 2013 for a character that had to carry a watermelon around because it was like a class project. And they would treat them like their baby. And then they would name them, but then they would eat the watermelon because they got hungry. So then they had to get themselves another watermelon. <laughs> This was originally written for a white character. <laughs> Actually, it was just written. I just thought the idea was funny. And at no time 
when I eventually ended up casting Benji and making him carry the watermelon around for a character for an idea I'd had for long ago, did I ever notice the optics of it? Because, again, this was pre-TikTok. This was 2015, 14 when this I wrote it. This was Texas. And uh, Benji, did you realize? Did you you did you think I was I doing just, it as a joke? I was like, oh yeah, he's doing an edgy race joke, and I left it alone. I was like, you know what? We're not gonna have that conversation. Oh he's my probably god, probably a good guy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I definitely was not being like, ha ha, black guy carries watermelon around. I was like, ha, a crazy person thinks that watermelon's their baby. <laughs> Yeah, that worked. <laughs> All right. So anyway, anyway, let's move on. Uh, he's named it. He's named it after his favorite actress. And right now he is breaking into the apartment of an actor of a guy who's obsessed with the same actress because she's apparently in town. And your character wants to find I her. I want to meet her. Is she? I don't know. Not far off of how I was. Oh. Right. I know. <laughs> I base. I know how to write characters based yeah. on my friends. <laughs> the but freaking. The line where you were like, where somebody mentioned Vampire Diaries, and literally the next line, I was reading the script. Somebody mentioned the Vampire Diaries in the script, like, and I go, oh, I you. love that show. Okay. And the next line in the script was, oh, I love that oh show. And I was like, I can't. So right now, I am his boss in this kind of like, <laughs> I'm in this like, it's like Day Oliver and Company bacon coming. type thing. The sun and will be darkened and yes. the stars yep. will <laughs> fall from the sky, and he will fill us with horror. So we may know he is the Lord. thinking the thing. But I know that's not correct. <laughs> I like that little title card. Yeah, I that was, was like, was that? Each season was going to have a different name. This was Tinseltown After Midnight. The next season would have been something else. I know one season I wanted to call Neon Dreams. Ooh. Because I'll explain what later. When we die? Oh, God, the dialogue. That is not any question for a 12 year old to be asking. Okay. <laughs> We'll just Do you think we'll still be here in the morning? I think you need to stop watching TV. <laughs> that TV's great. So she's You're wondering if the pastor is correct and they're all going to die but in the morning. You're a better writer. So I think he's a writer. He is a writer, <laughs> yes. Chris's character, Danny Swan, is a writer. So this is a very important scene. Every hey, scene in this show shit, hmm? has a payoff, and that's something shit. I'm very proud yeah, no of. No problem, mm -hmm. man. If we're all even still alive in the morning, right? <laughs> hey, there's a chance of scattered storms later, so be watching out for the kids, okay? They're our responsibility. It's all great, baby. Wow. <laughs> this is one of my hey, childhood friends, too, Darren. You don't party too hard tonight, all right? So Danny Swan works at the pool, but because he's going to be out partying tonight with Benji's character, he has asked someone else to fill in for him in the morning. Apparently Very important, you need though. need to bring back the, uh, <laughs> the Ch Charlie Fox. Uh, again, Emily Taylor, I didn't do a good job of fully establishing it, but the idea was that all these people have been hearing from a pastor that tonight at midnight everyone's going to die. Because that's the thing that happened in Texas. People pastors would literally prophesy that the end of the world was coming this is also kind of based around like the whole 2012 apocalypse era so a lot of people think like ah, like maybe we're all gonna die who knows like number one okay, an exercise. Uh, I, I created all of this i did all that in after effects i even created the loops and and keegan wow. who filmed that was so nervous to do that fashionably okay here we go let's, let's all pay attention what if, wait 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 but what is vine <laughs> Yeah. Vine was TikTok before TikTok was TikTok. I think all of our viewers know that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in this scene, I don't know. You just watch it. I thought you were taking me to a party. I see yeah, batch. Are you taking me on some kind of wild goose chase? So we weren't cussing. Heaven forbid. So we had a lot of fun ways to jump around yeah. that. <laughs> There's some dialogue that's like... And you still got that thing? Oh, God, I love this shot right hey. here. Her name is a character Monica who's about to be second. important is coming up. The second. the second. I ate the first one. <laughs> Just look. Oh my if God. tonight really is the end of the world, don't you want to go out with a bang? Traverse. Okay. Again, Benji, you're trying to convince uh, you're trying to convince Danny. Hey, we need to go out and party. And the reason you're subconsciously doing that is because you know he's been depressed. Right. Ever since we don't know exactly what happened, but, but we know friend. at the opening his friend killed unalived herself. Um. 
And so you're trying to get him out of the house. He doesn't want to get out of the house. We also wrote in uh, Chris's accident that his scar, that's a real scar, we wrote that in to be a scar from his own attempt, possibly. Mm -hmm. So you're trying to get him out. And in this scene, you are obsessed with this actress. And he, Danny was like, oh, we're all going to go out and party, right? And you're like, no, no, we're going to chase this actress down <laughs> because um, I'm obsessed with her. But yes, in the background... Someone important just passed by, and I'll let you guys know later. But also, the day one that we started shooting is a fucking snowstorm came in town. Oh, it's so in great. In Texas. It was so great. There was a goddamn snowstorm in Texas. <laughs> And good. it lasted the entirety of our shoot. It was originally supposed to be two weeks of shooting. We ended up shooting for three weeks. We had to cancel everything because everything was outdoors. Yeah. And we couldn't shoot in the snow. It was insane. H fucking snowing in Texas. But we love an ice apocalypse in Texas. We do. But this scene right here took place in the three hours that the snow melted. And in another hour, it was snowing again. Yeah. I kid you <laughs> fucking not. And my friend who just walked in front of the camera originally wasn't supposed to do that. But I was like, hey, it'd be cool if we introduce your character early. I know you're at work. Can't do you have the costume in your car? Can you drive over here in like two seconds? Yeah. And he did, and it was fucking awesome. Oh, okay. I have a commitment, man. What's up, Wiley? Oh. Why is Wiley on Instagram texting me through Sarah's? <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Onward. Seeing the city in an epic quest to find the most amazing actress to ever come out of Texas. Look at Megan's uh, comment. Yeah. Or. You no, know, yeah, my home. character would definitely have Order a million pizza, watch Gossip Girl. <laughs> we'll stay at home, order pizza, watch Gossip Girl. It doesn't snow like that, Emily. Not often. Right. No, often. it's like every three or four years we'll get nice apocalypse. Bum, bum. It was more often when we were leaving, though. Like. Yeah. YOLO. YOLO! Yeah! I'm very disappointed with this shot because I wanted to actually see the sun setting. The The name of each episode is a, based off a song. This episode's called Sunrise Sunset. We did not get a fucking sunrise or sunset. Well, we got a sunrise, but we didn't get a sunset. Sunrise, sunset. What? This was a real location. I fucking love all these locations. And we got this band. This band was called the End of the World Parade. Oh. And they were dead. And I'd seen them at many parties in Texas. Also, Danielle, that was not the first time I saw snow in Texas. It snowed like every three years. Yeah. When's the last time? This is a real fucking band, and we got them, and we hired them for the day. It was so fucking awesome. They were like, we can do something like this, and then they just started playing, and we were like, nah, that's amazing. This was a real goddamn band. They were awesome. And they had all this shit like, themselves. The energy in that room. I was supposed to dance. Yeah. And I was like worried that we were gonna dub it in after it. And I was like, oh, no. it's gonna be so awkward, but nope. They had In the covered. beginning. No, he didn't pee, Emily. He wasn't able to. Actually, I'm glad you noticed that, Emily. It's an important fact that uh Chris Doughboy, Danny, was not able to pee in that scene because it comes back later. We were one with the party, and the party was one with us. But then the party turned, and the gods decided upon one, one man, man to carry forth their legacy. Oh. Goodness. The king, king of, of party. party! This king <laughs> would be a conduit of the night. He oh roam the streets yes, bringing the party where the party was needed. He knows the night like the back, like the back of, of his, his hand. hand. And he can find oh, those who the dare <laughs> brave the darkness. Even a famous actress who's visiting her old hometown. Boo! Who said that? Okay, so long story short, this is also supposed to be like in a Pirates of the Caribbean type world where it's like, you're like, you're searching and there's clues and there's mysteries. And so they went into the bathroom of this club and they found a number for this supposed king of party who's like this famous partier who goes around Tinseltown, Texas partying. And then you are like, if I can summon him, he will know where everyone is, which means that I can use him to find My this actress. famous actress. Again, I don't know why I made everything so complicated, <laughs> y'all. go and make th You obviously, you had to. We, we know your inspiration. I also don't know what you're turning off and on because the music right, was bad. So turning on, I was giving them their cue. Oh my god, these work out so much. <laughs> I fucking love this shot. Oh, and also, this was supposed to be that. Yeah, so, Danny Swan has to pee. <laughs> God. 
supposed to be that he's like, is someone in that room in the bathroom? It doesn't make sense, y'all. Don't they both? He has to use the bathroom. He's got to pee. Having a nice end of the world. Oh, just the grandest. You know, <laughs> there's a kiss at midnight. Oh, don't you? He got you bold know. real quick. With I know, I love that. I think that number was real. Actually, I don't remember whose number that was on the phone. Uh -oh, don't tonight. look that up, y'all. We definitely crossed the line on a few of these shots. So, yeah, filmmakers come after me, I guess. <laughs> I know, Gabby. I didn't remember you being in that scene either, but he's like, brother, there, there you were. I see the resemblance. Fuck off. You know how siblings are. Oh, that was important, too. He said, you know how siblings are, and she reacted. I wonder if that pays off later. Yeah. <laughs> what Silence. This is a real. This was a real thing that I was told I on a date. Are I was having a really bad date, and I said, "Ha, awkward silences." And the girl, rightfully so, went, "I don't think silences are awkward," and she shut me There's right the fuck up. On a cowboy. first date, they can I be. I won't tell. It's fine. I didn't need to call attention to it. I tried to lay up shade. It didn't work. <laughs> okay, so this is the part you see that his summoning actually did work. Watch. He didn't actually have to do the whole dance. He just called me over. But I wanted the to dance was for fun. The obviously. dance was like you were summoning a but ghost. Yeah, I was about to say, you have to summon the king of party by having a party. Obviously. Exactly. But he didn't answer you. Look at that. He ignored you. Rude. Summon king of party. So he's coming out back to pee, and now... Stinky said, I can't believe he just left this watermelon. <laughs> oh. And now he just pissed himself. I like the timestamps that let us know where we're at in the night. Aw, did you get stood up? Skittles, don't film my shame! What are you here to gloat? Oh, Jeez. <laughs> is that thing rotted? Skittles? Skittles? Real actors don't gloat. Your award is bogus. Can't help it if we have a little eye in the sky watching over us. You and your eye in the sky, that was from the preview. Or what? Your pimp daddy will sick the suits on us? I'll explain what's happening Haven't you the heard? Scene. Charlie Fox is no longer protected. Oh my god. This is epic. <laughs> you depress me. I love Craig in this scene, though. Let me know when your date it. arrives. Oh my god, there's so much happening in the dialogue. We it's use protection! Amazing. Clearly some sexual tension between there's the There's a lot of there. sexual tension. Okay, okay. <laughs> Long story short, they are part of rival acting troops <laughs> how are you supposed to know that i don't fucking know but they are part of rival troops and craig chirpy's character skittles which you will find out why he's named that later skittles was basically <laughs> gloating because he's like hey you guys suck and you're like your award is bogus and he's like yeah well your pimp daddy the guy who owns your acting troupe my character fagin he's not fagin his name's charlie fox but the fagin like character <laughs> He is no longer protected by something. I don't know why I wrote such a complicated lore, y'all. You know, <laughs> it is what it is. Emily said, am I sensing an enemy still love you? You <laughs> fucking <laughs> real ours. You know, if we get a season, if we if we end up doing some sort of season two, maybe they're together. So this this is all the behind the scenes stuff. Listen to the dialogue. Nighttime will no longer be offering their services. Oh my God. And that wasn't part of the deal. There's no negotiating. I signed the dotted line, so yeah, I beg to differ. You lost that privilege years ago. <laughs> Was that around the time that you Did lost your eyesight? Or do you legitimately like that tie? It's a gift from my mom. <laughs> it's my lucky tie. Oh, wait, are you serious? <laughs> it's my lucky tie. <laughs> His character's name is Lucky by the, way. Up by the neck. Whoa! Where going are you somewhere? going, beautiful? <laughs> Oh, oh, poor Chris. Yeah, wasn't it like freezing out there? It was. It was so cold. Out of his pants wet. Charlie Fox. These are all. This is literally verbatim the Jack Sparrow uh, meets Davy Jones scene. Yeah. It's like times up, and there's so much like character story <laughs> happening. Why? Tell Sullivan, I said hello. So Charlie Fox has clearly been disowned by some secret organization. 
So now he no longer has protection. Uh oh. I guess we'll find out with that. Emily, you're actually on top of everything, right. Emily Taylor. Everything you've said actually pays off later. So right. pay more attention. Don't worry. Good. I'm the good guy. <laughs> maybe, maybe she's the target audience. Maybe Here. that's who you wrote it for. It'll be harder to keep that track of something later. Something on your pants there, Tinkerbell. I called him Tinkerbell because he peed his and pants. And yet you're the one that pees all the time. Shut up. Look at that. Hello? No, Hi. Stinky. It was not um, that bad. I called earlier about a uh, potential guest you might have at your hotel. So now you're Can't calling. do that. You're hey, calling the action. It's policy, but there you go. I just need a room number. You're trying to find this actress now. Hello? Hello? Doing phone calls? That is not okay. She's here. She's in Tinsel Town. Oh, I had lost my glasses by this point, so those are a different One pair. Job. That's all right. I hate those pair. The original pair were cooler. One job. One of the reasons my character is so profiled in this show is because I lost my original Lennon glasses. It's okay. You got a nice profile. Oh, I love this shot. So this is Carissa. She was awesome. She is playing kind of this character that is like a little sister to Danny. And she made this little... Uh, this little bomb shelter for the end of the world. That's we awesome. did that ourselves. Yeah, that's really cool. I want that fort. Where is it? Okay, and what's important is that as they made the fort, she rediscovered this. My Little Sister and Me, written by Daniel Swan, who is clearly a writer because he seems to be writing everything. There's a cute little story. Thank you, Charlotte. I fucking love the white hair. I'm hoping I get it in the future. I'm getting it first. Well... The hair was supposed to be colored like I was doing it on purpose. Like I was I was actively creating a character. Like the character is creating a character. Yeah. I had a whole backstory like for Charlie to be Fox. It's like a Targaryen thing where it comes in white naturally. <laughs> so this is all and this was an important point too because I wanted to kind of stress the fact that, you know, this older guy is like, why is he texting this younger girl? Like he should be out partying. Oh. And yet he's almost like in this Um, it wasn't supposed to be like fully creepy. But it was supposed to be kind of like, hey, you need to like not make some friends that are your age. You need to be making friends your own age. You need to be not focusing on this younger girl. Um, even if you are trying to be a bigger sister, you need to move on with your life. And the whispers are supposed to uh, remind him of his friend who unalived herself. Well, um, 69 Omega has the solution for that because they found You're a girl for him. Me. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> uh, can you block that? See, this is why we don't need. We need modders. Are you the king? summon you. Pocket green. How did you know that? My, My space? space? You wouldn't happen to know a girl. You got it. Minnesota? I did learn that. Okay. She's calling herself Allie Stowed. Allie Stowed. Allie Stowed. There's a storm coming. Death draws to you like lightning. So Daniel why Swan. did the king of partying go? The spec you just say? Well, I don't know. Know. There you are. What did you I just also say? Really to me? Like the king of party might be a little. She's racist. always listening. <laughs> uh, what's going I think on? the How king of party sees something in Danny. She's coming for you. Yeah. We're all but pawns in her skin. twisted game. <laughs> <Yeah. Yeah>. Wow. <laughs> but pawn. I am being so super serial right now. You have no idea who you're messing with. You beware the sons of the black butterfly. Beware the night. Appropriate, appropriate reaction. You. Ha! I like that guy. <laughs> Who the biz was that? Yeah, no, the camera moving sound Nobody effects were awful. I don't know why in, I put those in there. End of the world. Sorry, Emily. Mom. Sorry, Let's everybody. This shindig. Time to go to the next episode, y'all. So that was the first episode. God damn. The next one's called the The next one's called the Rembrandt song, which is based off of the Friends episode song. 
Okay, so that was the first episode. A lot happened in there. The uh, the king of party was supposed to be like this magical, all-knowing guy who's been partying too much, and we'll find out a little bit more about him, maybe, in this intro. Also, this is when we start doing the title sequences. Uh, the yeah, and again, I based my writing off of Breaking Bad, so I feel like a lot of my intros were based in that throw kind of something confusing and then explain it later in the episode. So I'm really happy about it. Um, oh, you will find out what's in the box. Maybe. What's Again. in the box? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys ready? Let's go. Here we go. I love this opening so much. This is probably my favorite opening of the entire show. Are you bored with your everyday yeah. routine? Is the humdrum leaving you high strung? Do you wish someone would your give your life a swift kick to the balls? To the balls. <laughs> Puts him straight back. Whoa! This is definitely Easy Tim and Eric inspired. <laughs> hey there, ladies and germs. The name's Sullivan. Chad Sullivan. Chad Sullivan. Now, you may, you not, may not know, know me, me, but we sure know, we sure a, lot know a lot about, about you. you. Why? Why? Because, because we're, we're your, your eyes in, in the sky. sky. Well, your deepest and darkest desires oh are our specialty. We know Actually, that you've Emily, been dying again, you are not wrong. Fuck, well, Emily! Dog. You and should have watched the show! Strangling. Fame, you got it. True love, why not? What if you could be the hero that you always wanted to be? I did what all of these effects, by the way. was only a signature. A blast doing this. With just one application of our patented party box, yes, you your Friday night will become sister. a plethora of endless shenanigans and lighthearted light misadventures. Just like, just the, like movies. the movies! <laughs> Before nighttime, it's not a I was business. nobody who wanted to dance. This is my favorite gag in the entire show. It is so but now. This makes me laugh every time. It's so long. I remember. Again, we say the humor has not changed. <laughs> Half the episode is us just. I'm a great party. You ruined the party. This party. <laughs> that still wow, makes me laugh wow, so wow. much. Wow! 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 Seriously. Oh, that might work So come on down to Nighttime Incorporated, one of our many nighttime mates to find the sleepover scenario that's perfect for you. <laughs> and then this, no, this no, reprise. Nobody, nobody touches me ever! You don't touch the suit! You don't think about the suit! You don't touch it ever! Do you get me? Tell you it's getting things. No, you don't. You keep on doing it. You keep on doing it. You're touching me. You don't do it ever. <laughs> I fucking love that. Drago. Thank you. And I love that opening title sequence. Hell yeah. That was, again, original score by David Fish. It's not a bad thing. All right, listeners, a little over four hours left here. Let's take a quick call from Masterson. Miles Masterson. So what are your end oh, plans? Oh, just a little late night revenge on an old buddy of mine. Sounds like Betty White's last birthday. All right, we'll be sure to have some fun out there. If anyone is even listening to me, we're going to be playing some Sade for the shorties. Well, what? Right here on KTV. <laughs> hey, sweetie. Ah, uh, this is my mom. Rip mom. Yeah, Rip hey, Mama Rizzo. Mama acting. <laughs> Is These are all her night? students. Love you, Mama. Yeah, yeah. A lot of crazy people out there. You know what they say, nothing good happens after midnight. <laughs> My mom would say that all the time. Yeah. Like, nothing ha good happens after dark. And I'd be like, all right, Mom, I'm still going out. <laughs> Here we go out. You wouldn't happen to Listen. know whose watermelon is sitting on my kitchen counter, would you? I almost threw it out. No! <laughs> <laughs> you in the sheets. Which is sus as fuck. <laughs> What's well, funny? Crazy. It's funny we didn't know your character was gay back then. I'm, I'm catching a lot of tension with everybody he's interacting with. It's Sweet the new gay eyes looking at all this. Also, shouldn't Bob know whose watermelon that is? Like, that's his best friend. Yeah, but <laughs> he's always there with the watermelon. Is he, though? Doughboy? <laughs> Damn, your arms are jacked. I know. Wait. What? Oh, no, Megan. That was actually my first film, Probe. 
Um, I thought Megan might be somebody I know. I love this score was great. Again, shout out to David Fish because all of this was fucking original. Yeah. There are some Kevin McLeod, McLeod. There's some songs that are definitely okay, okay, other people's, but but most of them original. I still actually stream this score from time to time. It's on SoundCloud, and nice. I love it. I'm yeah. obsessed with it. Okay, upcoming forewarning. Uh, trigger warning for swish sound effects for camera movements. Trigger warning for swish sound effects for camera movements. I was like, hey, Bean. I hate it. <laughs> Danny Perla, Perla Danny. But my friends call me Panties. Yeah. This mom calls him Dope Boy. <laughs> oh, God. It's so many wishes. <laughs> Who left you in here? I did. Okay, a word? No, no that's a name. name. <laughs> I love the dialogue. Who's the giggle box? She's my friend from acting class. Let me see if I can find that. <laughs> yes, Gabrielle. Where's your laundry room? This is like the one with Unagi where Rachel and Beat sneak into Ross's apartment to scare him. Yep. Unagi. 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 <laughs> Jackpot. How am I supposed to poop tomorrow? Pinch a clean one. Oh, oh. All right, there's the SoundCloud link for the score, y'all. I'm gonna pin it. Yeah, my eyes are. I'm doing full Not crazy eyes for this whole movie. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm sorry about the camera sound effects. See, I told you she calls him Dope Boy. <laughs> so, by the way, I actually knew a girl named Panties. Uh, that was her nickname because there was too many Lexis in the group. So she went by Panties, and I wrote that in. But then I later critiqued it because I was like, why am I calling a female character Panties? And it was in the. It's actually in it. Hold on. Why will that not disappear? Search your soul for what you were thinking. Okay, why is this not disappearing? Get the fuck out of here. Who's a good baby? <gasps> baby. <laughs> I know. Easy you are. You're oh, this so character cute. is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Panties is insane. Okay, there is a, a single take up coming up that I fucking am in love with. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. I love so this so much. <laughs> What? Smack cam. That was all the rage back then. Yep. Was it shaving cream or whipped cream? It was shaving cream. That was shaving cream. Yeah. Tinkerbell. Oh, oh my god. god. The, the sauce. sauce. Who? Vine superstar Derek Sauce? He's like mega hashtag famous. Oh, oh I miss Vine. Only the ladies get a taste. Only the ladies get a taste of the sauce. That was what he was saying. He was super Christian. I had to convince his parents to let him do this role. Oh, <laughs> this is funny. We finally hooked a whale. I love the reveal here of your face. <laughs> yeah. Did you get it? Enough to cover a whole house. Good. So after this, you're gonna take us to see her, right? <laughs> you two have been a tremendous help in getting this business off the ground. I don't know where I'd be without your services. I always loved that that little <laughs> thing that I did there. I was very obsessed with this that. This is it. We're gonna be <laughs> Look at your it was face. We're all gonna move to Cali. Your apartment is gonna be just like the cast of Friends. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so let me let me give you a backstory. First ah, off, we happening? had to do a lot of single takes in this show because we had no time. So I worked really hard to make sure that like we could get all of the dialogue done in like one take. And I'm honestly kind of obsessed with single takes, not because if it's an auteur thing, but I like the motion of like how our character is going to come in and out and like what is it's almost like a dance. Like let's like get this let's choreography. Yeah, let's make this the most interesting that it can be instead of just like shot, reverse shot, shot, reverse shot. So in that scene, we have Derek Sauce, who is this famous Vine star, come up and slap you in the face. You disappear off camera. Panties notices and she's like, oh, my God, that's a famous person. And then Charlie Fox comes in to reveal, oh, my God, we're meeting up with Charlie Fox. And he's like, I recognize Tinkerbell. 
as the guy who pissed himself. And then simultaneously, then you re-enter the picture and you're like, oh my God, you hooked the whale, which is to say, we always have, we always do these jobs for clients. And now you actually have this famous person. Also, when we are done tonight, will you take me to see my famous actress friend or the person I'm obsessed with? Yeah. And instead of answering you, I say, you have been tremendous help. I don't know where I'd be without your services. I literally do not answer the question, and I move away. And then we reveal that panties is like, oh my gosh, shady, shady, we are shady. obsessed. We're gonna be famous. It's gonna be we're we're doing all these weird side fun jobs because we want to be famous and move to Texas and at California. the same California at the same time. Chris, Danny, he's like, yo, this is crazy. Like, what are y'all doing late at night? For a second, he sounded like, uh, who is it? Yo, uh, it's me. Is it Christopher Walken? Is that who I'm doing? It sounded like Yeah, that was said. Christopher Walken for sure. <laughs> okay, and play. And all that in one take. I fucking love that shot. <sighs> and the reveal do of I your... Have to do this? Hey! Teamwork. Dreamwork oh, okay. makes the teamwork. Number one. No, that was wow. two. You just got smack cam. That's right. It was two in one scene. Oh, that was one. Then I think there's one more. Yeah. This was a real thing that happened to me, by the way. I was in the middle of TPing a house, and my friends abandoned me as something happened. So, Ooh. a lot of these scenes were actually based on things I've really gone yeah. through. You're using good. them. Ooh, that's important. Yeah, it's called employment. Oh yeah. Um, it's called employment. Good Times Incorporated. Uh, we don't need another actor. That was that's super fun. TPing. I'm that's not right. an actor. Who cleans it up? What are you? I'm bored. <laughs> yeah. Hey, cities are playground, Derek. Whatever you want, we can get. So we're paid to All entertain right. these actors. I want to shoot something. That's a dangerous actor to be trying to entertain. And now Chris is like, this is dangerous. We need to get out of here. Boo, you whore. We seriously there you go. Seriously. Gotta have that Mean Girls moment. Go. Go! No, this was my old church that we TP'd. What's going on? Who is it? With consent. I love this part. It's Cal. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Love it. That gag still gets me. Very realistic. Yes. I am not sticking around. Um, We got that cop the day of. My dad was searching around, and we ended up paying him with some of the money that we got. Mm -hmm. And he was not an actor, and I literally had to talk him through everything based on my own life experience when I fucking TP'd a house. Yeah. And they drove off when the people came outside, and I had to hide behind a car, and then a cop pulled up, and I had to talk my way out of that scenario. Yeah. So I wrote that into the goddamn thing. Because your friend sucks. I did have, uh, Emily, I did have, like, ribbons. Anytime I went somewhere and they had those little ribbons you could buy, it was, like, my favorite thing ever. For those of you uh, just tuning in, we are rewatching an old web series that Benji and I did seven years ago. If you're confused, don't worry. So are we. <laughs> and we are explaining it along the way. Have some fun or leave. You know, whatever. Whatever just, makes you, know, you happy. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to like and subscribe, we should have been saying that all the time. <laughs> like, hey, freaking like and subscribe. That's this nice. This seems like more of an, an intimate thing for the people who are already with us. Yeah. That's why. Okay. Okay, so now this is a flashback to this character. So we saw him in the intro. He was like, before I... Before I was a partier, I was lame, and I just wanted to dance. So now we're seeing the consequences of his actions. And what's in that party box? Uh, he's got the box. So he throws the box out. This is very reminiscent of a lot of TV shows when they'll have flashbacks and then cut to the, the present day. And one of the reasons I enjoyed writing a series was like, of all the teasers and kind of of all the things you could kind of play with the, like the format of like oh cut to commercial come back cut to commercial intro sequence cut to title card like you know I loved how you can play with the narrative of that I just showed up and said what I was supposed to <laughs> uh. I don't really spill on myself why is this a thing you like liquid on you shut up man sorry E evening, officer. Hey, sir, good night. How are you? How can I help you? Uh, I'm, I'm good. Uh, no help needed. Just having some fun. 
Like, what kind of fun? Legal fun? <laughs> yes, legal fun. This was fun. all legal shit that a cop fun. really said to me in real life. Yeah. Okay, well, can you explain all this to me, please? And this guy was not an actor. And you know just what? I think uh, he did a goddamn good job with us talking uh, we, we through We know it. the people that work here. What would and if so I it's just like a, same situation. a... You got a shot. Yeah, just a prank. Oh, okay, you weren't so in that. Prank. Yes, okay. yes, like a big prank. Okay. <laughs> Everybody okay? Yes, everyone's fine. Everyone's telling the door. Are you sure? Yes, very sure. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. I won't hear about this later. Will oh, I? No, not at all. Not so, right now, at this like point, he's talked himself out of getting arrested, <laughs> but then he realizes wait a minute. I want to get my friend out of this scenario. So, uh, wait, wait, what? officer. Uh, arrest me. Hey, sir. Okay. Sir, sir, step back from the me. car. My friend is black. You can arrest him too. Uh, step back you know, from the car, I, sir. I held a beer once. Sir, sir. Um, I'm you, I'm you so seriously get us out of here. Step back from the car. We still do. Oh my gosh. We couldn't actually drive this guy's car, so I put in the fact that he like Wait, there and saw us. Don't lie to me. Take him out. I'm not. So this is important too. So because Danny Swan had gone back to the house to get. Um, toilet paper. He had forgotten that he had taken his book with him, and now, that which happened in this episode again. You Girl, structure your show. Marvel. I might not know shit, and my stuff might be a piece of crap, but at least my shows aren't just a whole movie that's cut up into separate scenes. At least I actively tried to format each episode to be a self-contained thing that introduce and then explain something in it so in this episode we see that chris goes back danny goes back he accidentally grabs his book he accidentally has to keep his book which means that now charlie fox grabs his book and realizes he's a writer so now what is charlie going to do with that information we don't know i think you might know damn she called out marvel i always love that gag too that's, the idea that's how you party yeah. Is this this fucking kid with a gun who just shot a cop? By the way, there's a lot of things that happen off screen that I did. He shoot the cop? Yeah, you sh you like, but it was all stuff we couldn't actually show. So. Oh, I thought he just like the cop ran off and he took his car, all settled. crashed it. You good to go? Once again, nighttime thanks you for your continued business. So now the Nighttime Corporation, which is a legitimate corporation, not my ragtag corporation, they have something happening here. Who knows? What's going on, Benji? I don't know. He's about to get canceled again. Yeah. <laughs> Rizzo, my, my friend is like, you're a search <laughs> captain, crazy pants. Hey. Oh, right God. Foxy. This was modeled after so the, uh, or what? the uh, not confrontation in Pirates of the what? Caribbean at World's End. You said one job, and that job's not finished, right? Hashtag not even close. Not even close. It's not fair. And Lee. Puck it. We can find her. Sorry, dear boy. Probably so at this point, one of the reasons I do like your character is that as happy-go-lucky as you portray yourself, you, said you, you are the stuck good guy. working for this crazy character. And you want to get out, and you know you should get out, and now Danny's obviously saying, hey, we need to get you out of this. But even though you want to, at the end of the day, I say jump, you say, okay, how high? I've probably got a fucking crush on him, too. What's with my character <laughs> having weird sexual tension with everyone he interacts with? And here <laughs> comes one of my favorite my parts back. of the entire fucking <laughs> show. Oh, my God, I fucking love her. Ah, uh, yes, Emily Taylor is supposed to be reminiscent of hey! parenting classes. Oh my god. Is that, is that you? you? I think this was our you? most quoted piece of this yeah, show, right? You. Get over here! Dude, the way Preston does this I'll character is one of my favorites. <laughs> he is insane. And I hope I get to bring that character back to life someday. Just the fact that Whoa. this character just takes Whoa. pure joy in what he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just walking with people. Oh, oh, oh. And the fact that he was walking around tailing them at the beginning of the show. <laughs> and then we start serpentine. Elgin's there. Serpentine. 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 
There's definitely been a few Keith moments. Oh my god! What is going on? Wow, overexposure much? This is supposed to be a 11. fun night! You were probably trying to light me. And guns! <laughs> this is nothing like friends. <laughs> I won't do this! I will not do this! I am not built for this kind of stress! I am a lady! We were supposed to be famous! We were supposed to go to Hollywood! And he's gone! They I actually do not remember how, Puckett's what my explanation was for this. Puckett's friend! <laughs> we just took off. We're like, bye. <laughs> oh, this. Anyone? What did she say? What did she say? I don't remember. What did she say? I see no one told you, right? Now. No one told me life <laughs> was going to be this way. It's <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Wow. I gotta pee real quick. Pizzy Rizzy comes back. Pizzy Wizzy. Woo. The night continues in episode three. Yeah, this was definitely um I mean this was just regardless of not I mean, we kind of we knew more or less what was going on, but regardless of even still having questions about the specifics of a lot of things. It was a lot of fun because it was just a lot of us friends running around all night and filming things. So, you know, Rizzy, as, as Wizzy as he is, he, he was able to uh, put something real fun together for us. We had a good time. Do you want to? What? Here. I'm going to use that. Oh, Pizzy Benji. Yeah, it doesn't work as well. No, it doesn't. Hey y'all, how what's uh what's happening? How's everyone doing? <laughs> oh my god, this is kind of fun. All right, let's see where are we at. We're at episode three now. This episode's called Fire and Rain, and I do not remember why. Um, yeah, I don't remember why it was called Fire and Rain. Nice, Gabby. Gabby's in the comments right now. She played. Pan oh dear lord. Okay, y'all. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, this is bad. Pizzy Rizzy and Sweaty Rizzy. Why? Why? Why is this like this? Um, was he like a ghost or something? The silence. <laughs> I know. Rizzy's got way too many liquids coming out. Okay. All right. Okay, here we go, y'all. Episode three, Fire and Rain. If anyone can remember, remind me what song. That I set fire to the rain. No, I think it's an older Watch song. And I cannot remember why. Okay, here we go. And three, two, one. Is it age? Oh, this is a very important opening. I actually like this opening a lot. And we shot this in like an hour because again, the, the snow came in and it was too dangerous to be driving. Oh, I love this scene. This is so good. This is like something you would see in a Breaking Bad or like a Lost. Or in a web series that copies all the above. Shut the Reverend. fuck up, Benji. <laughs> another day, another lost soul. Well, the children are our future. Indeed they are, Mr. Sullivan. And I hold myself hustling responsible. And we owe you our gratitude. Do not mince words with me, pagan. You are a son of the black butterfly, the siren of Satan. Fucking love Robert Culver. First He's amazing. Ouch. This. Secondly, we are a necessity, old chap. Your tomfoolery may have been of some Tom. fleeting amusement, but it has yeah, also Chris. served to corrupt this town. One might argue that we're all corrupt. I will not associate myself with the footman of a pagan cult good day <laughs> so th good day daddy Woo! this is the pastor this is the pastor who's been prophesying that the world's gonna end do you want to see this town burn isn't it charlotte isn't that a threat an offer what we do when the sun sets isn't our business it's, it's yours oh, i love this
exist. They're like, they're plotting. They're I like. I strived in vain. Uh, for the soul of the dark town. side. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a self inflicted drug induced bereavement is tarnished to the <laughs> Higgins legacy. This is. And to my duty as a God fearing shepherd of the Lord. I'll explain what's happening in the scene later, viewers. This is the part of the show that's inspired by Righteous Gemstones. No, this came out before <laughs> Righteous Gemstones. <laughs> I know. What did you have in mind? The end of the world. Oh, I fucking love that. It's such a good... And then this reveal. We also had a joke that Chet Sullivan was a vampire. So we gave him an umbrella. Yeah. <laughs> I can see it. Watch it, stranger. You might kill someone. Sorry. <laughs> when does this take place? What's happening? Honestly, I still fucking love this intro so much. So basically what you were seeing in that is that the uh, pastor was just lamenting that another person had taken their own life and that a lot of people in Tinseltown, a lot of the kids are kind of like going their own way. And then you have Chad Sullivan who works with this mysterious corporation and he's like, yeah, you guys are responsible. And Chad's like, well, actually, we could work together for a reason and I'll – and, and he's doing this at Melody's funeral. And Melody was the woman who unalived herself at the beginning of the series. So we just saw a flashback to after everything we had seen at the beginning of the show. So, damn. Fucking amazing. The layers. Don't don't you. It's bad luck to open an umbrella indoors as a half a time. Again, we had a joke that Ched Sullivan was a vampire. Yeah. Like, it wasn't actually lore, but there was a part of me that said... I if, think he's a vampire. But unfortunately, I realized him walking in broad daylight in the first shot mm -hmm. completely undid that. But but again, we said well, that like happened so last minute. So And you could also always write around that because it could very much easily – an umbrella is not going to fully protect you from the sun. So it could be that the sun irritates him. <laughs> but He's not even a real vampire. Yeah. I just <laughs> love the idea that like we all said, he's a vampire. <laughs> okay, here we go. I actually don't remember how this episode – So now, for some reason, Arya has decided to venture out. Arya, I don't know if you've noticed too, but the girl that Danny Swan takes care of, her name is Arya, and the girl that unalived herself, that was Danny's friend, was named Melody. Mm -hmm. Is Arya a uh, musical term? Yeah, it means music. Oh, I thought it was just the name of the stock girl. I love this shot. I love the idea that a late night adventure can seem so apocalyptic, and I think this shot was yeah. so cool. Uh, and actually, no, he was an actor. He was from my church, but he was an actor, and I just loved his voice. Look who. Parlay. <laughs> and she says, Parlay, because I course. love Pirates of the Caribbean. We get our little pirates moment. Is that a jailhouse? Where is that? What is that? That's actually... The idea was that every single one of these rooms has something nighttime related going on. And these people are reliving like all these fun experiences. I never knew how to exactly articulate that though, and I'm kind of mad. Sectors about it. four and five are a go. I think we got it. Initiation sequence is primed. We've calculated our final marks. Less than three hours till showtime, sport. How's our latest edition? He's ready for sequence. Sure you'd rather not wait till midnight? Be a pit pal. Do me a song. 
said, Dear Pip Pal, do me a solid. <laughs> oh, I hate Chet yes. Sullivan. Ah. I love him so much, but he's so nervous. He's very cringe. Yeah, I don't think you want to know what's happening. Oh, I'd it. recognize that musky clone anywhere. Chet Sullivan. Wow. We Impressive. definitely have a history, by the way. Yeah, like, really. I, am a, I had a whole prequel series planned out for us. I did that like twice before. Third time's the charm, am I right? Good Times Incorporated. Whoops. 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 <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> God, my busted teeth. What? Right. That's all you have to say to me, partner? We gave you a second chance and you spat in our faces. No kiss. This is our territory. Now, if you want to put on your big boy panties and play pretend, that's all fine and dandy. But the second you start stealing clients from us, we will come in and take care of you. I'm so annoyed because, like, if, if I would have just written a show about drug dealers, it would have been so easy to explain that these were just two rival, like, drug lords drug lords that were just, like, we had the big drug dealing uh, syndicate, and then you have, obviously, like, the mom and pop shop that mm -hmm. Charlie Fox is doing. But instead of peddling drugs, I'm peddling scenarios and, and – Peddling and, good times. And good times and uh, acting out your wildest fantasies. You know, it's just, like, I never figured out a good way of explaining it. And so a lot of the dialogue, which made sense to me, because I'm like, obviously they're taking clients from the bigger company. They're 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 taking like Derek Sauce. He's a Vine star. The big company is probably like, no, we provide him entertainment. It didn't, didn't sound like entertainment. It sounded like they were torturing him. <laughs> How do you explain that? Well, you'll see. <laughs> okay. With who? The men. A lot of hands on deck. <laughs> His work we have big plans for Tinseltown. Take him away. Wait, 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 wait! I can help you. I can help you. And this is just like Pirates, where I am now trying to cut a deal last minute. The only reason you're still alive is because of her. <gasps> and who's Don't her? Push. Is it the Black Butterfly? It's the Black Butterfly. Jacket, oh. Pocket. <laughs> I know, my. <laughs> yeah. Who? <laughs> <laughs> the sexual tension is amazing in this. I fucking love it. <laughs> <laughs> so he he just got that book this we morning. Yeah, Swan. Yeah, in the parking lot. Not like this one. So were you just like in sloppy, the in between, unrefined, in between the scenes? You were just like sitting there on your bed, like I've your feet up, like. <laughs> See, <laughs> we have a writer. Reading his book. Shut up. You're <laughs> finished, old chum. Those are the old glasses. In about that I lost. thirty minutes, your client you didn't lose won't even remember them. your name. <laughs> Clearly. So, on behalf of the Nighttime Corporation and the Church of the Black Butterfly, we'd like to say. That's a wrap. Dude, this is so sexually no. charged. I, mean, <laughs> I love this shot, though. This was a last minute thing that we did because of the location. I fucking love this shot right here. <laughs> oh, wow. man. There was so oh like this one too. So the mural, you'll notice there's a gun pointing right at. Whatever um, it is, I didn't need Danny's it. Head. Danny Swan. It's <laughs> just Skittles. Oh, holy moly! Oh, Skittles, what the fart? Oh, I'm sorry. Did that hurt? Ah. Mother Murgatroyd! The amount of people that thought My this was a real Skittles. gun. Yeah. I was like, he's clearly cocking a BB gun. Yeah. Well, you know, they they don't know what our Allie? budget is, so they're like, well, maybe they meant for it to be a real gun. Uh, 
Maybe we should get him some ice. For what? Um, let me think. For my balls! <laughs> Fine. I need him standing anyways. Oh, okay. So they got kidnapped by your What the heck is going on? Who are partner. you? Miles, Miles Masterson. Rival. Masturbate. Probably. Masterson. Masterson. Everybody calls him Skittles. Nobody calls me that. Why do they call me that? Nobody calls Nobody me calls that. Nobody calls me that. Fucking no. Please shot me in the dick. Another. Stop it. <laughs> the amount of licks that you take, Benji. Aww. Are those real uh, tears? Pretty abusive. You might try method acting more often. You might actually win something. What the poop is this about? We're thespians. Ew. Yeah, it's a lifestyle choice. No, quit shoving it down our throats. Uh, there's, wow. Don't tell there's me some, some petty there's acting some rivalry. Humor in there. There's some dated homophobic humor. <laughs> I mean, it's like, ah, not it's a stretch. But, now, but like it's, huge jokes I wouldn't make now. Exactly, exactly dated. what I tell you to do. Uh, no way, fruitcake. You know, yeah, that doesn't like, work. That's not homophobic. So you admit you're gay. I'm not gay. That's, that's homophobic. homophobic. I don't even know what my goal. <laughs> I don't even know do what, what I'm I say. Like, your smelly fruit baby gets it. <gasps> oh come on, it's a watermelon. That is my child. So what'll it be, huh? Surrender? It's got real bad. Shopping for Rosie the Second. The Third. What? Rosie the Second, the Third. He ate the first one. Thanks, Doughboy. <laughs> no! Sidebar! <laughs> Sidebar! What's going on between you and Doug? But that mural actually existed, and as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, we have to have it with I the gun lines up with Danny. Bo uh, Shocking! So you, start, you started the nickname Skittles, and that's Sorry, why he hates you. Well, there okay, you go. so it's just some... Probably because we had hooked you? up, and then he decided. Yeah. Uh, then what's the worst that can happen? And I was like, okay, well then, I'm gonna start a relationship. This is the backstory plot that comes after, like Ryan from <laughs> I hate you. High School Musical. <gasps> Woo! You go, girl. <laughs> uh, love the queer coded villain. Yeah, always gotta be. I know, Benji does look good in that dress. I still have that dress, too. It's in the closet. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I know. They have uh, they were definitely telling me that over and over again on set. Hey, you. Like, uh. You're like, guys, I'm not gay yet. How did yeah, you yeah, I know wasn't my name? ready for that. Cut to, what, um, eight years later. Not even. Full MySpace? Full oh. short skirt. <laughs> Why are you everything. talking to the enemy? Look it. No, he's rich. I know <laughs> my waist was so thin. I gotta get back to the gym. So having a nice end of the here. world? <laughs> oh, just the grandest. Okay, you two. Are Stop you just flirting? Seriously? <laughs> That's a nice accent you got there. I'm the something feature. of an accent man myself. Our, our God. Content, nice to meet you, Lasse. We'll feature more gay characters. Yeah. That are positive. You know that what are that not says? villains. <laughs> It's a meat cube. I mean, gay people can be villains as long as they can. They're, can. they're not villains because they're gay. You're not gay because you're a villain. Only when you're he's nervous. Villain. No, no, no. Wait. You're not a villain because you're gay. You're gay because <laughs> you're a villain. Shit. Wait. That doesn't work. You know what we're trying to do. We're trying to make a <laughs> villain's vote. I'm so close. Your girlfriend looks familiar. <laughs> I just wanted then to get you out of the house. the third wheel. No, Why? like literally my entire because life. Thank you. You know, it's mopey since. This is well, important. you know, since what? You're trying to get him out of the house. Oh wait. Don't that's the make me say her name. I liked this idea. I like the idea that you were trying to get him out of the house, the party, but it just ends up. Such a nice friend. You're such a good person. I just. I just want you to be happy, Doughboy. Maybe don't call him Doughboy. Look afraid. Cause you're my, <laughs> my, my emotions. Bleh. I know. Aww. Quit calling Doughboy. More. I need more. Work for me. Everyone's just trying to be yeah, buying famous. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now, <laughs> during the filming of this scene, not this one, when we were doing the stage scene, I fully fell off the stage. Oh, <laughs> fuck! I forgot that! Because, like, what, the Michael. lights were, like, off, and I was trying to, like, I thought I had a couple more steps, and I just walked straight off the edge of the stage. But luckily, there was a couch right under me, <laughs> but that could have been really bad. <laughs> <laughs> so they just got kidnapped from panties to then perform this stupid thing because he wants to be viral and make fun of his friend. Yeah. Or make fun of his rival. Mm -hmm. All right, it's 9.56. I don't know why. I'm specific, but I, I counted out the time to make sure it made sense. Yeah, but you also, you know, you don't want it to just feel like Wipe that smile 12, off your face. One. It's not real. Like this is what happens when you cross us, Fox. They're going to take you far away from here. And one more thing. I'm the only writer Sullivan ever needs. So he's the writer for the nighttime you corporation. You pull a stunt like that again? Is he writer? Or is and he I don't security? care who's protecting oh. you. He needs to I will rip you apart. A Calabar. Do you understand? <laughs> that is an ugly tie. <laughs> <laughs> I still love that. Plot reasons, Rizzo. Yep, obviously. plot reasons. Be a pip. Do me a sword and find him! <laughs> He's like, oh, right, I was just gonna get up. Yeah, I, 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 I had song go down the stairs. He went two steps, I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, I guess he's gone. See, guys. <laughs> See, guys, we don't just make fun of other people's shit. We make fun of our own shit. <laughs> Stay here. What happened? Why did we get out? She felt bad. She went in the car and then... Uh, right, and let us out. I think we were talking. That's important, too. Aria texted, helped a crazy homeless lady find her friends. Do you remember what happened at the beginning? Aria stumbled upon uh, panties at the... Uh... <laughs> right, at the car. At the yeah. police car. Come on. What in the name of Bob Pika? Bob Pika? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Okay, <laughs> <it was. laughs> no! No! It's like Jack Sparrow run. <laughs> it's like, hey, it's This one is in So I Face the Final Curtain, and this is probably one of my favorites. They're we all are good. Halfway through. Okay, here we go, y'all. There are so many complicated things to explain, but here we go. Look at that trigger warning. Well, that's a strobe warning. I edited all of this myself, by the way, and we casted one of these guys the day of. Which one? That's the sauce. Dude. So they just stumbled upon dead? Derek's sauce. Duh. Oh. Duh. Oh. What, do we, what do we do? Did I spell seizure wrong? Ah. Uh. I edited all of this and I am so fucking proud of it. <laughs> They're over. The uh, flashing lights are over. Is it melted? It, it, he's not. He can smell. He's dead, idiot. Come on. Man. Dude, okay, dude, 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 okay, dude, he is super, super bad. <laughs> like that is. 
<laughs> I cannot believe I misspelled seizure. This was seven years ago, y'all. When Google didn't Sorry. exist. Or spell Jack. Starface. <laughs> the goddess of stars. The siren of Tinseltown. The black butterfly. The black butterfly. I like that. Yeah, you know what? Shut up. <laughs> what, what's the line that he says in um in the the pitch meetings? Hey, shut up. Hey, shut up. Hey. Can you pass me one? Get off my back. <laughs> hey, shut up. Did you want to? No, I'm good. <laughs> Those were supposed to be like Snapchat tags, or yeah, whatever lets you know. Ooh. I'm sorry, but our lines are currently busy. Please call again. Do we know him? <gasps> That's my voice. <laughs> Coast is clear. No. No, no, no. I'm not going out there. Oh, come no. on. It's been an hour. And? Did I ever kill you off? What? In my scripts, did I ever kill the black character off? <laughs> no. Then you'll be fine. I'll be fine? No. No, Doughboy. This is <laughs> not one like, of the stories, okay? This exactly. Is this isn't right. a story. There is a crazy person running around out there in the dark with a freaky mask, an ugly jacket, and a knife, and a knife that's as big as mine. <laughs> Cut to well, well, just dragging him out of the closet. closet. Get the camera out of Look face. who's coming out of the closet. Stop. The homoeroticism is <laughs> amazing. Love the gay themes. I love Thought that you're about he to fall back. <sighs> Thank you, better of Bonnie. Oh, uh, appreciate it. Actually, yeah, Emily, even though that was a horrible um, you voiceover, need sustenance. I have been put on hold by 911. <laughs> They do that if it's the not an emergency emergency. Of the gods. Drink up, Buttercup. I need you bright eyed and bushy tailed for when the party arrives. Who's the bomb? Hey! I took a shower! I took a shower. <laughs> when? 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 <laughs> <laughs> Not recently. He said, uh, I fucking love the character. You get me. Eat me. <laughs> then she's a dude and a lifestyle. We love it. Why is he following you? He's like an extreme version of me, though. We summoned him. We summoned him. They summoned the king of party. Now he's following them. Like I like, summoned him, and he's obsessed with die? Chris, and I'm salty about it in retrospect. Wait an hour. <laughs> you might find out. All I wanted to do was find some stupid actress. Notice anything in the background there? Look at that. I Go see. Home, cowboy. Go home. Notice anything in the background the there? Me. Notice that the Ali Stode character is telling him up. to leave? Those little uh, Easter eggs, little nuggy nugs. Oh, nuggets sound good. Oh, I could kill for a cheese <laughs> grilled with cheese. A grilled cheese. Could <laughs> fuck with a grilled cheese. Oh, he got his kiss. That was like I am. Forehead. I'm not kissing you. You know, unless like <laughs> you want me to. <laughs> um, I treated the king of party like he was, like Barbosa or like like a. Is she close? Cleaning himself. That's good. Is who? I forgot I did that gag. That's yeah. funny. Closer than you realize. Okay, so this was my issue with writing. Instead of stating things plainly, instead of having Chris come up and go. Is Rosie Monahan, the actress we've been following this entire night, is she close? And then the King of Party being like, yes, Rosie Monahan, the actress you've been following, is closer than you think. And instead of that happening, I wrote, is she close? Is who close? Beat. Closer than you think. Again, I do appreciate that style of writing where it's not spelled out. Yeah, but you gotta you gotta marry the a little bit of the orienting people yeah. with the I just went full blown Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man's Chest. Well, it's hard because it's like when you know what you're doing, when you know what your story is so much, it's yeah. hard to be like, oh, well, at this point, somebody might not be following. Right. But so. I like the idea that the characters in real life wouldn't be saying, is Rosie Monaghan close? They might be like, is she close? Like, I don't know. I like the idea that they're more inferring. Yeah. And well, yeah, of it's like, you know, the when they come up, hey, sis. Hey, bro, and it's like, hey, no, brother, you don't call we've been your, brother and sister you just for two say years. Hey, to your sister or brother, but there is a place for the explanations too. That's the reason why people are uh, uh, confused about this, oh, though. Nice. <laughs> I don't know why 
lights to it now. That's good. Fuck it. Okay. Bucket. Where's Bucket? <laughs> oh, look. He introduced you to the king of party. Bring oh, but finally. So that's how he got you out of the closet. Look at <laughs> that. So I could find my diva. No this is name. this is how the old Please YouTube uh, loader Bartholomew Higgins used to be. I and I will say that watching this always gave me anxiety because the preload, the buffering wasn't moving, but the movie was. <laughs> so as we get closer, I just couldn't help but be like, oh my god. Entity residing within this box. This box. Uh oh, we're gonna find out what's in the box. provided by the Nighttime Corporation. I love this lore. I begin to notice strange happenings over the past month. Doors shutting in the middle of the night. Writing on the walls. What does he say? Usual pics on my Netflix queue. <laughs> that one killed me. Naturally, <laughs> that one made me laugh out loud when I was reading the script. <laughs> Unusual pics on, on my Netflix, Netflix queue. Weird stuff is happening. <laughs> Wow. That's just amazing. I still fucking love this whole idea that instead of being possessed by a demon, it's like possessed by a party demon. Watching. Uh oh, we're headed towards midnight. Has enslaved me. So he feels enslaved I by the night. In her eternal madness. But save me. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Aggressive. Uh, kind of angry. Now. Where is the king? I don't remember how he know. Oh, so in the beginning, when you were trying to find Rosie Monaghan, you broke into Rosie Fanboy 237's uh, right. uh, dorm, and you asked him, hey, do you know where Rosie is? And he was like, no, but I know who would. And then he told you about the King of Party. So now, no, you're for some reason, Charlie him. Fox is hunting down the King of Party because, again, like Pirates of the Caribbean, allegiances change. <laughs> okay. I this is amazing. You got me into this. If I die, it's all your fault. Is he in a cave? Is it true you fought in the Night Wars? You defended our right to party. The Night Wars was Are definitely true. In season three. That, no, the then Night Wars was legend. definitely my prequel show. Uh, the show. Party on. Are you ready to have your mind blown? What is it? That was an God. intentional line, by the way. The I've had enough surprises for one blown? night. Yeah. The night's not over. <laughs> no mass killer. <laughs> wow. Maybe we, we should have a very cursory. <laughs> Maybe we should wait it out. The ultimate party awaits. Into the world be damned. It's like throwing underwear. That's where we'll find Rosie, right? Yeah. Yeah. You in? I actually don't remember why he was obsessed with. Oh. You hold I, on to this. I think he was trying to pass the curse off to somebody he knew. That's what I think it was. I don't know why he tried to pass. What he why he wouldn't try to Because he had a me. darkness about him. I had an emotional darkness. Jesus Christ! Hey! What is that? Emily wants the She's box. She's chosen open. you, Daniel Swan. <laughs> She's Daddy, chosen you. What did she? He, he has no intention of helping us find her. Neither do you. What? I had to get you out of that closet. Damn. Okay. That's important. Okay, now I remember why. Because the black butterfly had chosen Danny Swan and the king knew it. Yeah. You were really just putting all the closet symbolism. You were like, come on, Benji. Come out. <laughs> he wants he wants Danny Swan to embrace the night. I actually really love this reveal. I love this score, it's an original score. I fucking love this score. And that box was homemade. Good night, Gabby. Good night, love you. Uh, Hello, gentlemen. I'd like to take a 
moment of your time to talk to you about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yep, did not have a budget to stab it, somebody. It, that's okay, we get the idea. <laughs> That scream oh, that destroyed me. Scream. I do, Megan. I do still have the props from this. I'll show it on our intermission. He got freaking stabbed, Bucket! I know! Bucket, I, we I can only hear hospital? Bucket now. Know where we're going. <laughs> Wait, is he alive back in? Let me check! Is he breathing? Bucket. I miss my car. <laughs> So I don't know if you noticed, but he's uh, the character of Derek Sauce is now completely different and acting a little bit more Hello? Christian, which is important. Hello, anyone? And he's wearing a yellow tie. I wonder if that's significant. Yellow like um, the black butterfly. Yeah. Oh, and this was Hello? a doctor's office for the guy. He, this guy actually gave us half of the money yeah. for our funding. So shout out to West today for funding this. Hey. Yeah, it definitely kind of reminds me of that. This was also back in 2015, Emily, so it definitely had that vibe. That's the last line of friends. Sure. I know. Where? They're all gone. There's no one here. That's the last line of friends. Wait. Oh, what is sure where? Nice. Ooh. Oh my holy crap, Hayes! We need to find her! What? Why? Why? There's a psychopath parading around Tinsel's house! That, that's why! The black butterfly is coming. The black butterfly is coming. What are you doing? Famous people know each other, right? You're a piece of shit. <laughs> but you're a clever piece of she shit. She knows what she wants. <laughs> <laughs> you just texted uh, Rosie Monahan. She's in town. I told you. I, I told you. <laughs> you just stole a phone. By the way, I guess I. He's at the doctor's office. What more do you want from There's me? There's nobody in the I office. I was only pre med for one semester. <laughs> I can't save him. Okay, wait. I Go do like this. I like this whole scene. Started. I also what are you doing? I can't Give believe it. you! She made her choice! You can't be responsible for everyone! Well, maybe someone has to be! Yeah? Look where that got you! Fuck you, but damn. You are a selfish, delusional groupie! With an imaginary baby! My best friend isn't a 12-year-old girl. Here, I can rescue another one. So many things happen in that one shot. So he just, you just called him out. You just, or he, you just called him out for, you can't be responsible for, for everyone. And then Danny was like, maybe someone has to be. And you literally digging the knife into the wound about Melody who unalived herself. You said, yeah, look where that got you. And then you called him out for also having a, a, a friend who's too young. And then you, for some reason, tossed him your phone. Well, th I think that was supposed to be his phone. Did right? you steal his phone? I don't remember. I don't you know. kept you kept Derek Sauce's phone, yeah. and now you gave him the phone to find panties. You're like, go rescue another woman. Uh, well, I guess I gave him my phone because I have her number. He doesn't know her. Yeah. So you're like, yeah, go rescue another one. I'm yeah. gonna go do what I've tried to do from the beginning. I remember you guys kept being all like, don't throw your phone. You're gonna drop it. And I was like, girl, I dropped this phone twice a day. Like, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> And then we got waiting for Hallmark to, to see a, to steal the Tinsel Town trademark <laughs> from you for a Christmas <laughs> oh, movie. No. I love it. It's fine. Oh my god. And then the fight and make out. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. we've got another season. Yeah, I'm not gonna do any sort of projects with you unless my character is making out with someone. So all the time. Ooh, well, every scene. Here's important. Here's important. Important reveal, y'all. Important reveal, y'all. <laughs> 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 
I love this score. Oh, I love this score. Come to beg your final penance, son. You have chosen your path. Father, redemption awaits not, pagan son. In real life, that's his uncle, right? Yeah, in real life, that's his uncle. Those are two are actually related. Is this really the end? Yes, actually. Yeah, and so that is, son, I don't know if you noticed, but they have the boy. same last name. That is his actual son. father. And he's literally the entire night tried to get rid of this curse. And I always uh, thought of the box as being like alcoholism or anything that you're addicted to. And he was trying to pass it on, but you know, his father is like, I don't give a fuck about you. Mm. And Mordecai. his father's a dick. Mordecai Higgins. You have something of ours. You did this to me. This box was a curse. Which is why we are offering to take it back. Keep so, him. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> You're free, Mordecai. So now I'm giving him what he wants. The Nighttime Corporation thanks you for your business. Even though I don't fucking you don't work, work for, for them. The I am shady. I'm you telling you. Take I based all of this off of Pirates of the Caribbean. I was like, how many double crosses and long games and, and, and like... <laughs> How many Just times? Everything, how many times can I like double cross other people and like figure something out to me weasel my way to the top? Okay. Um, I'm not sure if they continue to make music. To tell you the truth. <laughs> oh, I love this flashback. Yay, Mallory Baumhoff. I love Mallory. I used to take care of her. Oh. Melody. It's just a drawing. <laughs> I can never fix it. You try again, of course. No matter how hard I try. Would you like to read my poem? It's for you. What would happen to me, die? History fucking repeating itself. Ooh. And she plays it off, knowing full well that, that was a heavy ass question. Yep, for a little girl to ask. Uh, they're they're the same age. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, I mean they are in real life, but oh. they're like not the same age, but they're not like it's like two year difference maybe. No, she is not the black butterfly. She is just haunted by something mm -hmm. in her head. Okay, stinky. All right, Megan. <laughs> like a smithy in my head. Ooh, that didn't come out good. All right, here we are. It's almost midnight. fucking love that i still Midnight. fucking love that i still fucking love that okay 
All right, y'all. I have to take another pizzy break. Of course. I'm going to do a quick one-minute intermission uh, just so I can show you guys what we have. All right, y'all. We'll see you for the last two episodes uh, in like a minute or two. Okay. Oh, there's only two more. Yeah. Okay. So keep the comments going up. Welcome back, pop stars. Hey. Oh, look at what we have here. That's a wacky, waving, arm flailing, inflatable tube man. Wacky, wavy, inflatable, arm flailing tube man. Wacky, wavy, inflatable, arm flailing. Oh, shit. Oh, God. <laughs> you good? Well. <laughs> okay. So, clearly, we still have some of the costumes. I was actually going to wear my jacket, but I realized I just gave it away like last year. <laughs> oh, that's so depressing. Um, yeah, y'all. Okay, so the next two episodes are where things really went off the rail. And uh, all I can say is I had seasons planned for this show. Yeah. And one of the things that was going to be revealed later on is that everyone was connected in this dream world. And that the right. Nighttime Corporation was aware of this and they knew how to kind of hack into it because of the deity that they worship, the Black Butterfly. Now, we don't reveal that in this season, but I basically I'll have to talk you guys through it as it's happening. But, yeah, they were all connecting in a dream world. And that's actually what happened at midnight was everyone got the nighttime corporation basically connected to everybody in the world or everybody in, in, uh, Tinseltown. in Tinseltown. They connected everyone in Tinseltown through dreams and then they kind of brainwashed them the same way that they do. Uh, uh, what's his name? Vine, the Vine superstar, Derek oh, Sauce. Okay, yeah. Again, there is a lot of fucking lore to this. I don't know why. It, it okay, now, you guys ready? It's now required. Rizzo wears this once a year in a video. Yep. He used to wear it once a year at Halloween for about, what, four years? Yeah, this was my lazy. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. This is a very confusing opening. Engage. I love this opening, though. Tinseltown was filmed before a live studio audience. Um, this is going to be Quirky rhetorical query with obvious answer. Pause for applause. 
Catty remark followed by deflating analysis of said query. Immediate brush off cap with final punchline. Uproarious goodbye. <laughs> Unrelated interjection about food. Patronizing slur. Oblivious gratitude. I'm quirky. I'm quirky. We, we know. know. Okay. So two things about this scene. For one, this was the scene that almost made me quit writing the show because I'm not a sitcom writer and I had no fucking clue how to write sitcom jokes. And I knew that I wanted to have a scene where everyone's brains were all being connected via this dream world and this was how they were connecting to each other. So this is not a dream sequence in the normal. They are actually experiencing this. That was my goal was that all of them were connecting and that they were all experiencing this dream and they were experiencing in the form of a sitcom. And instead of just writing normal sitcom jokes, I decided to actually write what they would be saying. So if you listen to the first few lines, they literally are sitcom shit. Here we go. Tinseltown was filmed before a live studio audience. Quirky rhetorical query. Quirky rhetorical with query answer. with obvious Pause answer. For Pause for applause. Caddy remark, followed by deflating analysis of said query. Immediate brush know, with like, final punchline. A glorious boss. Unrelated interjection about food. Unrelated interjection about food. Patronizing slur. Oblivious gratitude. I'm quirky. We, we know. know. I base this off of uh, catchphrase you know. batches. Catchphrase batches. This, I wrote this, by the way, a year before uh, Community did the same day. thing. <laughs> Forish and ostentatious disregard. disregard. Those are Those big are words. Big words. <laughs> Listen. I love this scene so much. We should really lock that door. Psst. This is so creepy, by the way. I this is I should do more like some sort of a nightmare. You should. When you did your uh like horror mafia game, I was uh, like, oh that's a nightmare. Okay, trigger warning, we are going to see a little bit of the aftermath. obsessed with magic and he made him kill this rabbit accidentally and basically cemented this feeling of I'm dangerous to the things I love and that so that would have been haunting him a true story right more or less yep, based I on your own trauma so Ooh. now this is everyone in Tinseltown asleep because they're in the same dream world I still don't feel like I accomplished it very well. It's hard when you have like such weird ideas. <laughs> but that's why we keep writing. Just keep writing. Just keep writing. So you hear the uh, you hear the applause because right now he's still dreaming of the sitcom. Nice. That's clever. <laughs> I don't know how I found him, but whatever. We'll go with it. Welcome Ooh, back. Rizzy's here Take again. <laughs> I don't know why Danny Swan, though, didn't get brainwashed. Because he's a writer. He, Whatever. he can see the outline of it. So now look, look who's looking at his writing. It's Lucky. Fuck Lucky. He did this all in a night, by the way, because he just got the book. 
Chris sounds clear. Or and Danny. Fox. Bro. Danny. No sign of him. <laughs> he better feel responsible for the watermelon <laughs> as well. <laughs> Yep, this is where the show goes off the rails. This is when I jump the shark. But I like the idea that the whole town's now kind of like apocalyptic feeling and abandoned because everyone's asleep. Yeah, he woke himself up. That was my old car. <laughs> Panties. At ease with her fucking yeah. nerf gun. Doughboy. <laughs> Doughboy. Well, he just met him. Yeah, right? Whoa, hey, she's happy to see him. Your pocket. Oh my god, that's actually a gun. Hey. <laughs> Most of your I feel like, like honestly, that's the better option. <laughs> I'd rather be a gun than like, why are you so excited you to see me? I've known you for told me three what? hours. I thought it was best he didn't know. Hey. Told me what? Yeah, real he excited. Got <laughs> now who's the big boy with the gun? I asked gun nicely. Happy. He disappeared during the blackout. You don't remember? We were all there. The entire town was one big shared dream. Cool. What I mean, kind of explained it. It got into your mind, man. I don't know why when she's awake. Up, Honestly, Emily, I have no fucking room. Some, some of woke us. up. Yeah. I think Carly it. Emily says that they've been controlling Tinseltown from the beginning. Did I explain it? Sons Am I the drama? Black Okay, okay, this has got to be a joke. It's got to be. We Maybe it's because she left. wasn't dangerous. I don't when know. Charlie found me. He gave me refuge. <laughs> this is giving. There you go. That's the reason. Told you I was the good guy. Everybody this woke <laughs> up, and he just collected a few people. Oh. This is giving community. Um, this is like the paintball, a paintball episode. episode. Good. We love it. I know exactly where he got it. Where'd you snag that gun? The black I'm butterfly sorry, chose you, cat. didn't she? I really like getting in people's faces, though. I like getting real close. She's chosen you, hasn't she? <laughs> She's not the only one. <laughs> wow. How fun. That tooth is awful, Paint. Rizzo. Hey, I'll you were proud of it for a hot minute. Oh, that's why I called her Panny. Well, that's why she calls herself Panties. Yeah, her last name's do you Haynes. remember that? Yeah, Perla Haynes, remember. like Perla Haynes? Perla Haynes, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that hot man. That's uh -huh. me. I'm just waiting for him to take his shirt off later. Coming oh, up, does. pop stars. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. How much for some late night loving? Lady? <laughs> my tinders. Oh, my tinders. Yikes. Oh, take me, you strong arm, Nelly. Take me, you strong arm. <laughs> Chad Sullivan's the worst. I love him. He has way too much fun doing what he does. Yeah, I just like. <laughs> I like that Chris has popcorn. This is the best part. Now I bet you're scratching your melon, just wondering how we do oh. what we do. Well, it's simple. In the beginning, there was Parteus, the supreme lunar deity. She yeah. created our planet 23 trillion years ago for her many children, the galactic star spirits. Okay. They were known this as the great definitely, uh, what's it called? Our Earth was to be a second paradise where they <laughs> would engage in eternal, uninhibited debauchery. This was supposed to be of like Scientology. Of all her children, Parteus's favorite you know, by far was the night the black, goddess is Papalotl, the black it's butterfly. It's Papalotl. But Izzy, being an ever mischievous I spirit, would watch a used this of this. to really goof the flute. She <laughs> killed the great moon mother and forged herself with our planet, casting away the spirits of her brothers and sisters. But the symposium we believe all this too. Earth, seeking refuge in the everyday objects of our ancestors. To this very day, these eternal beings remain, having grown to reverence their cosmic sister as the great goddess of the night. For under her protective shroud, these spirits reemerge to partake in the eternal So we've got a little uh, Sailor Moon mother. Rainbow Crystal moment. And so I'm do sure we, I mentioned the that. The Nighttime to you Corporation and the Church of the Black Butterfly offer you the chance to experience paradise. But be warned, 
for when the sun sets, anything can happen. I'm actually kind of impressed. It's not bad. That's actually a really good explanation. That I was feel a really like. creepy. Goofy. That's my name, Perlaze. <laughs> so saddle up, pilgrim. The night is calling. Let the good times roll. So, any questions? No, it's still going. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Why was it still going? <laughs> Where's my friend? Uh, that art was actually I'll drawn by um, Preston, who plays Chet Sullivan. In the back? The art for that show. Oh, oh, nice. I feel like one of these they got left behind. Yeah, Emily. Yep. Okay, this is the part that's confusing well, as hell, sir. though. I'd like to take a minute of your time to talk to you about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He's been brainwashed. He's been brainwashing me down. Why? <laughs> He's a good reverend hired me to. <laughs> Only the reverend, troubled ones. <laughs> the reverend hired the troubled <laughs> ones to be brainwashed. Is your favorite false idol? You did explain. Yeah. Look at you. I think he soul and hang his eye not like you of course no you're pure i'm not pure no you're right everyone around you could be very harmless you look close but and charlie fox you. loves to look you close doesn't me. he i think you and i are more alike than you realize lee the nighttime corporation they got the market cornered in and we don't have the resources to keep up with them you <laughs> Did they duct tape the <laughs> knife? <laughs> yeah, they surely fucking did. They finally put pressure Where'd on it. Where'd you get this? You want your friend back? Okay, so, my God, the amount of, like, the way things, like, juggle from character to character. So, Arya, the little girl, was in her... her bunker. Her, she was in her bunker, and she found the drawing slash book that Danny Swan had written her. And then she put that in her pocket. And then she went out and found panties during the, like in the TP area mm -hmm. and then she later texts Danny I found an old homeless lady and helped her get back to her friends how panties ended up with the the uh, the drawing slash book that was in Arya's pocket I'll never know but then panties gave that to Charlie Fox and then Charlie Fox just gave that back to Danny to Danny love it fucking confused <laughs> so the fuck am I <laughs> they need a writer it's a win win and he's now trying to use him as a as what a. What say, Tink? He's like, you oh, you, he's basically. If this was for drugs, he'd be like, oh, you're a cook, and I'm gonna use you as leverage. Mm -hmm. But since it's not about drugs and it's more complicated, he's like, oh, you're a writer, and they need people to write their weird scenarios. So I will use you as leverage, leverage. And we love leverage. Shoot I him. think when I find my friend, we're gonna go home and forget about this night. And if I ever see you again, I know this too well. Well, at least he's so proud of it. Do it! All right. Actor, Do it! actor, shouting. Do it! Do it! My cat is really enjoying this show. I'm gonna take that as a compliment. Good. <laughs> Go get him. Do it. All right. Giving Daddy Dom vibes. Am I right? Am I right? Yeah. This guy's kind of hot. Uh oh. Gonna be your the antihero that everybody's in love with. <laughs> yeah, that's what I wanted to be. It's giving a uh, darkling. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, white hair. Make darkling. me your villain. My check engine lights on because I never checked my engine. No, you did not. We couldn't fake that. That was actually on. <laughs> so you just woke up from your dream. And I crashed my car. But I don't care. <laughs> I, I love, love it. it. <laughs> That's a cool shot. That was a cool yeah. shot. I'm proud of that. I'm sorry I threw this. So she stole it. She took it. How did she know it was his, though? That's said uh, by Danny, didn't it? I don't think she remembered his name. She's Home lucky Silver. to have you. And Puckett, uh, too. She a friend, family. That's so sad. Friend. Did your dad chew on my cord? Try again. <laughs> Someone else calling him out for his only friend. Major just I don't think he so he said. Me. Yeah. You yeah. know, still make friends with people your age, Danny. Just find simple people. 
This is also yours. What do you give? Ah, damn it. The box. Rosie Monaghan the second. The second is the watermelon's name. Yes. I don't want that thing. How did she find that box? I think it went to you. Oh. Oh, uh, you had it. <sighs> All right. This night has not gone like I planned. It's like no matter what I do, it's it just all seems pointless. Pointless. Just checking to say here, our mic is still working. They have put it. Knowing him, he's probably found Rosie by now. She's determined. <laughs> okay, this makes no goddamn sense, but in my mind, Hi, it was Derek. that they were gonna. Remember me? I'm sorry, Derek isn't in at the moment. Please leave a message after the beep. Beep. Oh. Am I boring you? I don't. How about he now? gets real fucking comfortable yeah, with that I know. guy. I <laughs> know. So, because he knows that Derek knows where Rosie is, now he's going to mind meld with him because uh, they can connect in the dream world and somehow he knows that. It's kind of hot. Into your mind, man. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that makes no sense. How did you do that? Oh, I do like this callback though. Unagi. <laughs> oh, I had a haircut. I remember. I was about to say. I was like, oh, you look nice. What happened? <laughs> Take me, you strong arm, <laughs> <laughs> I requoted the video that's back. That's a callback. <laughs> that's funny. And look who it finally fucking is. I'll get it. Is somebody else in there? <sighs> oh yeah, there is. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely She's a very calm about it. I know. I know. Showing up terrified. I think there's a reason out. though. Also, she's like the biggest star in Hollywood, and she's taking like a comfort Shut in. Shut up! <laughs> I, I know. That. I know. Make fun of us. So it's important that that watermelon stinks, because you know what watermelons do? Oh, do they? Sorry. When they're old, they explode. Um. Why did she let me in? <laughs> so, there actually is a reason why she okay. let you in. Drafting you. I know I'm not Derek. But it is stupid. It was... Well, there... Students... This is all bad. This is terrible, this but it's not... Night. Well, this is not awkward. This is painfully mean, awkward. And this is when I spiral out, here. right? Yeah. Not that I'm stalking you or anything. You're stalking it's her. Just, I'm a really big fan. Like, I'm your biggest fan. What does she do? For Darkwings? Um, do they make you read the books? Like, right. do you have to read She's the like books a, to a Twilight. <laughs> the name of the Twilight movie she was Dark in Dark called Wings. Darkwings. Your tongue. And what's funny is I want to watch it. Oh, uh, <laughs> he just quoted, he just requoted, uh, you just quoted Danny. Mm -hmm. Because when he's <laughs> doing things, he's awkward. Yeah. And he does accents when he yeah. feels awkward. Oh, you literally just said that. Yeah, there is a reason why she lets you in. But Actually, right now he's. You wouldn't know that. Probably doing everything he can to help someone he just met. I have to go. For what? Because you're gonna go find your friend. Forget him. He'll be there. <laughs> This is so sad. I mean, what? This is also weird. I do not like my choreography on all this as a director. Everyone is just kind of like talking in whispers and it doesn't feel real, but whatever. Like, why is she back? <laughs> because she's so excited. It doesn't not make sense. I don't know. Oh, Emily, you're going to be disappointed. <laughs> Cowboy? Well? Oh, 
Oh my god, what a twist! Yeah, they're yeah. related! <laughs> We don't know that yet. Wait, just why is he feeling out. weird again? I can't remember. Hot reason, so so. So stupid, but I do like that. It's like the half energy. <laughs> it was supposed to be really chaotic, but also we were shooting at a in a hotel late at night, and we had and we couldn't make too much noise. Damn it. Answer her door. Ooh, the CGI. We had a budget. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. And there's not even blood on the walls or shouting because we were <laughs> shooting late at night and we couldn't do that. God damn it. I wish we had had a budget. <laughs> I love the idea that your obsession, you killed your obsession. I didn't do anything. How did you get shot? It was all it was all leading up to it. It was uh what's that called? It's not like Rorschach. It's um uh when things are like build upon each other to like so you I don't know why, but Danny was focusing on the watermelon, then the watermelon finally exploded because it was stinky and it was old and rotted watermelon actually do kind of explode sometimes. Yeah, he put the gun back in the box. And then he brought the box with him, and he put the box on the ledge, and then you answered the door, and then you fell backward. No. Oh. Uh, Chris fell backwards because the watermelon exploded. Then you tripped over Chris. Then you hit the box, and the box fell down, and then it shot. I just saw Megan's comment how it feels to chew five gum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you shot Rosie Monahan. <laughs> In the quietest chaotic scene I have ever directed in my life. You know? Yep. It was chaotic, but I think it might have been more on the writing end. <laughs> no, I think it could have been. Yeah, it was definitely the writing, <laughs> but it could have been a little bit better had we know not had to be quiet. Yeah, and, and we could have made the it a hotel. little. And we could have. Rube Goldberg effect. Yes, I love when that happens in films. Um, it's very much Breaking Bad inspired, where it's like one thing will lead to another, lead to another. Yeah, um, that's good. Okay, final episode coming up. Are you fucking ready, y'all? Is everyone ready? Is everyone ready? Oh, also, um, cousins, we're hanging out with our cousins later tonight. It is now 937. You know, if they're still awake. If y'all are in this. If you're still wanting, they think they just texted. Did they just text us? I don't know. No. no. Um, they don't care about us. Cousins, uh, you should start heading towards uh, our place. Or not our place, but Benji's place. Because once we're done with this stream, you should text us. Okay. Do you want to start the next one? Hell yeah. You guys ready? Let's go. Hopefully there's not anything bad or threatening or something. The Day the Music Died. That's the name of the last episode. I wonder if that means anything. My, my, Mr. Ant. Ah! Somebody's going to get shot! <laughs> shut the <laughs> fuck up! <laughs> just had something ah. fall off the table. Yes, the different timelines. That's definitely it. All right, y'all. Final fucking episode my, three my two one maybe vader someday later but wait now he's just okay. a small well, fry that didn't work three two one go okay no three two one go yikes you left me so much this is my music i actually really like this intro yeah, this is fun i think we've each said that for one of them is that your dad yeah that's my dad nice this is a very calm intro that reminds me of a lot of the tv shows i watch they all do <laughs> they're all What's on yeah. my head? I Go think I have too teams. much jello Go, on the head. <laughs> Go, Danny's friend! Yeah! So when I used to take care of kids... Go, Arya! Come on! I actually Only said this stuff. <laughs> I once went to one of the kids I was babysitting's game, and I shouted that out. Only winners come home to eat. <laughs> earn my love, earn it, is what I shouted. Earn my wow. love, earn it! I mean, I was joking, but... So was I. Yeah. <laughs> this team sucked. It's a... <laughs> hey, they can still be good. See, and now Danny is, he's quote, he's telling a story out of nowhere because he's a good storyteller. Cute. And that's always important. And he nice hangs story. out with kids that are younger than you him. You should be a writer. Yeah. And like she calls him one. out. Oh, and she noticed that his books, 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 
Thanks, Danny friend. I hope I earned your love. As long as you won. It was a basket. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you were like Boring. So, you're <laughs> so reluctant to be there. I like the idea that you dragged your friend along or you were dragged along to this. Yeah, referee is my dad. Tomorrow night is right. Better the world, baby. I was thinking, you and me go out. No homo. Wow. Yeah. I got work homo. Saturday morning. <laughs> I guess I could get somebody to cover my shift. Yas, let's hear it. Was Yas a thing then? What? Yeah. So this is a flashback to right before the fir where the first episode starts Can't in the present time. Amazing what happened. So this is before the end of the world. This yes. is like if the end of the world's on Friday, then this is on Thursday. And he just said, "Don't you wish something amazing would happen?" Olivia Benson. I like that intro because that's very reminiscent of like TV shows where like let's show you the quiet before the storm and then we show you how bad everything's gotten. Oh, and I love this intro! the idea that the box will disappear on its own accord. Yeah. This little fucking troublemaker. This is one of my favorite scenes with Chet Sullivan because he's always been like so up, up, upbeat and this time he's finally fucking pissed off because guess who just died? One of their clients. One of their clients just In died. My biggest client. Just doing some cleanup. Might not make it in time. It seems we're all up to our nipples and messes tonight. I heard she on the cutting room floor. Again, the pronoun <laughs> game is Rosie Monahan dead. <laughs> yes, Rosie Monahan did die. Wow, that's interesting. I mean, that one, she was the only person that just got shot in the head. I think I'm we can put that one together. Just saying, the pronoun game was very vague. And I said, Where he said, on the cutting room floor. Instead of saying, she's were. dead. She's just straight up dead. He was like, on the cutting room floor. I'm what so does that up. mean? Still Nobody really dies in terms of On the time. bright side, he's going to have to find himself another crew. The writer? Graciously casted for tonight's big finale. Client's orders. So they just kidnapped all of Charlie Fox's friends. Now you keep an eye out. That Fox is a bad penny. Will do. This little freak out here is amazing. <laughs> I love his freak out. <laughs> that feeling when you're all up to your nipples. Some of these chats are coming in. They're not coming in over here. Where are they? Where are you seeing them? I'm seeing them over there. On okay, because the I was like, yeah, I'm not seeing them. <laughs> His freak out's amazing. Oh, and here's more juggling of props. Prop juggles. He just found Doughboy's story <laughs> that started off in Arya's garage, and then we know it went a lot Hear of that? places. Your friends are gonna be famous. Uh oh. What? Uh oh. No witty repose? Then I guess your time's up. She'll kill you. For you? I'll take my chances. So your hair's black. Yeah, well, it was supposed to look like I'd words. been beat up and the, the, the white kind of beat out of it. Uh -huh. I really don't give a shit. I love that line. The one cuss word. Here comes the punchline. 
Yaddy, 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 yaddy. Just you should know. I really, I really hate you. There's a reason why I ironically named it his lucky tie. Giving Teen Wolf. <laughs> you know my brother always called you Tyler Posey, right? <laughs> Someone and said I'm enemy ninety percent sure he never learned your name. <laughs> wow. Someone posted enemy lovers. I like the idea that a character's lucky tie was his downfall. I think that's lovers to murderers right there. All right, with you non boobs. Come on. Wow. You killed him with his lucky tie. Hell yeah, I did. It was lucky for you. <laughs> Jesus Christ, when we went to shoot this scene, we had zero time. It was so late. And it's I basically... Freezing. we oh uh, When I told Avery, our cinematographer, who did an amazing job, I told him, we're going to light the scene by having the three spotlights literally in the actual scene. Nice. Because it makes sense. They're trying That's to film cool it. choice, yeah. And it aesthetically looks awesome. And it was also kind of raining on top of everything else. Yeah. It was fucking snowing and raining. It's just fucking crazy. And it this was, was a lot. It was very cold. Luckily, my character had a big jacket on the whole time. <laughs> I wonder who the killer is. I wonder who the killer is. I wonder who the... That's creepy. Uh, and guess what? Guess who gets slapped again? <laughs> wow. I forgot about that. I did not. I forgot about the twerking. One last slap for good measure. I love that shot, though. Oh! Oh! It's the what? only other guy in this movie. <laughs> the only one we haven't seen in a while. <laughs> it's the watermelon plot twist. <laughs> it's the guy who hated you from the beginning. Remember to smile for the camera. <laughs> but I do like the idea that he's trying to be famous. So they they did a scenario curve. where they're a serial killer. Apparently that'll do it. What? Get down, Did that man. <laughs> Why? Why? Oh, yeah. oh, Skittles, for one. And two, you killed my leading lady. Yeah, she's dead. Leading lady? I think I did this on my own. <laughs> Are you taking me on some kind of wild goose chase? I called earlier about potential guests you might have at your hotel. Is she close? Closer than you realize. Ooh. This is our movie. Once again, nighttime. Got Thanks. the serial killer reveal. Continue. Da, da, da. Da, oh, da, da. that is giving me saw vibes. Oh shit! <laughs> Who could have seen it coming when he literally had the jumpsuit off it? Yeah, I know. Do you know how much I paid for that scenario? Mass killer terrorizes beloved Starlet. They would remember my name. And what name is that? Miles. You could rewrite. I do. Oh boy, he's a writer. Oh, uh, I love the idea of talking a killer out of killing yourself yes. because you want to rewrite the ending. It. And I still think that's a cool fucking idea. Oh, and she said check his pocket, but guess what fell out of his fucking pocket? Wow, the story is not there. Oh, that's a big ass knife. Go on. Oh God! Don't you get? S oh. Yeah, no, I, I think he, I think. Remember to smile for the camera. Skittles, stop! Oh, I love this. Skittles, Skittles. 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 Oh, I love this oh, ending though. Hey, Skittles, it. Skittles over here. Skittles, Skittles, me. Skittles, I said stop it. You gonna taste my rainbow? <laughs> oh. This is kind of intense, y'all. Oh. Oh. First, doughboy. I just love the idea that he's such a character that cares about his friends that he literally talked him out of stabbing Puckett. Out of there with him, no. No, no. 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 Still no blood on the knife. Shut the <laughs> fuck up, Benji! <laughs> no. 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 No.
another reveal. Oh my god! No way! This is Saw vibes. Literally. Ah! I did like the, I specifically wrote it that the camera would run out of film. Yeah. Because I was like, I really get tired in Scream movies when killers would reveal themselves for no reason. Mm -hmm. So I was like, let's give them a reason to have to pause like, yeah. from killing somebody. <laughs> Phone storage. But I also like, because <laughs> she, doesn't, she doesn't immediately start monologuing. Mm. That was my, my thing. We're waiting for him to clear storage, and this is an important scene too. Sorry that I um I fridged a girl to teach a guy a lesson. I won't do it again. Twice. Three times. But I do love the idea that she said I did this to me. That still gets me. Now, in real life, he had a whole body brace on because he had just broken his back, so there's no way he could have Why actually stabbed him. Let them call you that? Made the scene a lot easier. I love that. Why do you let them call you that? <laughs> call me what? Again, the pronoun game. It's, it's just a nickname. As she remembered, oh, yeah, they call me panties. Instead of saying it outright, everything's alluded to. Sister. She who? Do I say it? Did they, did they make her famous? Who? Sons of Black Butterfly? <laughs> no, Emily, no one I gets gauzes. Go <laughs> there is no medical care in this show. <laughs> <laughs> I love yeah. it. He says, explain. You're a serial killer. You're supposed to explain. Hollywood wants to victimize us. Degrade our gender. Fridge us to teach men Call lessons. Screaming pet names. I was on the verge of something <laughs> yeah, you progressive were there. You here. You were getting there. I was on the verge of something progressive here. But you know what? I killed all the women. He <laughs> said, man, am I right? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh, I love what the theme. You, lady? you must have had a story, right? She was your main character? Shut up, dumb boy. <laughs> you don't just need a main character. You need a story or something to bring it all together. I will cut out his tongue. You kill him, you kill your only chance. Hi. Elaborate. <sighs> I love the idea of talking the villain out of killing you. It's the tragedy. About obsession. A young man on his interim. Destroys the one thing you love the most. <laughs> You're good Hashtag to identify. Uncanceled. You'll sympathize with him. He's fighting to save Pocket. He's cute. The fall Friendship. of Hollywood's sweetheart at the hands of people. <laughs> you wouldn't choose that. <laughs> and at the same time, other double crossings happening too. This was all a single take, by the way, because we did not have any. Responsible for the lives around us. <sighs> the important question. This is the theme of the show. Who do you think you used to be? <laughs> it's fun watching this with a wacky waving arm flailing inflatable <laughs> tube man. Benji doesn't cry anyway. I don't have emotions. I don't cry. <laughs> and then this is important. I love this scene. I just love this shot up here. And look who's finally come on top. Yeah? We need to talk. We don't talk about Bruno. We're almost to the end, y'all. Almost we to the don't fucking talk end. About Rizzo. But <laughs> we've got a cat still watching very intently. <laughs> <laughs> hey, kitty. Hey, bees. 
Meow, 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 meow. Immediately runs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the music's fucking awesome. Like I said, Emily, I still re-listen to it. Oh, the box went back to him. The box went back. And and honestly, I ended this depressing. Yeah, I'm not surprised. You think because you swindled us out of our only rider that you hold the highest hand? So Charlie just killed their rider, and now he's positioning himself to get back into good the nighttime corporation because he can offer them Danny want? Swan. I want that kid, and I want to see yeah. her. <laughs> he did open the box. Okay, here. and her. We are all sons of the Black Butterfly. Here's a reveal. I'm her brother. So he's related to the person that they worship as I'm the Black tired. Butterfly. Oh. That was the reveal. That's why Charlie Fox has been protected this whole time. But I always had this idea that Charlie Fox was, like, addicted to being um, the underdog. Mm. That he didn't want to be on top. He always wanted to, like, have a challenge. And so he would constantly do self-destructive things and pit himself. It's literally but all a these game to three him. are now the sole property of the Nighttime Corporation. And now... You still owe us an ending. And, and now they're changing the... <laughs> they're changing the ending because the fucking Rosie Monaghan died... And now, oh, I love this. I'm sure a doctor's waiting for him when they arrive. There you go, Emily. There it is. A doctor's going to be waiting. <laughs> We're going to get the gauze. Emily. You and I are about to become firm friends. And it, the show is literally Welcome ending. To the real house. I like that we're wasting our time with this while he bleeds out. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, also, I just said the same line. I just said the same line to him that um, the that Aria, Ar Aria said when she handed him the book. Or I said something along the same lines. Benji, do you remember waiting up 30 hours? Or do you remember filming for 30 hours, then going to sleep, then waking up super early to get a sunrise shot? Only and then for, not getting a sunrise only shot for because there to be it was a cloudy. Goddamn cloudy day? Yep. Fuck! <laughs> I had been up for 30 hours when we shot this. It was a, one of the last major things we shot before we wrapped. And fuck this. <laughs> fuck this goddamn cl overcast you day. Get your sunset or your sunrise. I had location scouted to make sure that this, this area would get a sunrise. And fucking we did not get a goddamn sunrise. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I think he might be a little upset, Pop Stars. That's the last we'll see of these characters for the show. Can we get him a ride? Is no. he supposed to walk yeah, that no. few miles while he bleeds to death? <laughs> so this is the aftermath of everyone being brainwashed. And see if you notice someone having been brainwashed. It was good that this was an overcast day because there was supposed to be a storm overhead. Mm -hmm. Hey, he didn't look like that before. No, he did not. And he wasn't wearing a goddamn tie. Oh, and weird. he was listening to intense music. Well, now he's listening to classical music. Interesting. Do you think maybe he was brainwashed? Yeah. Uh, this part always makes me cry. Oh. <laughs> Gabby said she went to a full salon shift. I can't believe this. Gabby's still awake right now. I know. I thought we lost and her. And look who's times. not paying attention. Remember at the very beginning of this show, Danny told him to pay attention because there was a storm coming? Well, he's brainwashed now. It's not his fault. Yeah, either way, he never pays attention. <laughs> And so, in an ironic twist of fate, where Danny spent the entire series learning that he's not responsible for the death of someone he loved, he was indirectly responsible for the death of someone he loved by not being at work in the morning and not paying attention. And then she got electrocuted by lightning. Yeah, that made sense. So and that was the end of the series. I ended dark. on the darkest note I could have possibly thought of. You I killed did. all the women and I... That was your favorite thing. You loved uh, you loved having dark, dark uh, storylines with people dying. It was gonna lead to a great. Also, the the final shot of the series was the first shot. It was a watch. The fi like the opening opened up on a woman woman's watch as she unalived herself, 
and then the show closed on another woman that Danny was responsible for killing and having on a live to herself. So, oh. poor well, Danny. We're gonna. I love end credits, by the way, with pictures. So, we have cute. How, how, we have that wasn't his actual sister, by the way. Who was your sister? Oh, no. We listen to That's why you show up for work with kids. Gentle sweat, our shirts and but yes, she died Needle because I killed all the women. Cancel me, everyone. Scow, there was one scow, that made it out. <laughs> the Allie one named sold. Panties. Allie. Allie and scow, Panties made it out. Allie scow, the murderous one. Get out. Allie I love this song. This was an original song written for this movie. Show. I love I love end credit songs and end credit pictures. Recanceled. Yeah, just do it. Just get it out of the way. Just get rid of me. It was fun while it lasted, Rizzo. Blue Misty Mountain, we had dreams. Delirium. You made it, Gabby. Yes. You made it, panties. We <laughs> had I am still proud of the emotional journey. I'm proud of the irony. I'm proud of the fact that it's like the whole show was about like how the choices we make have consequences and we can choose to feel responsible for them, but we aren't actually responsible for everything. Like we're not responsible for the choices other people make. So. Do we get bloopies? We don't get bloopers, but we get it. I modeled this after the ending for the Rugrats movie and Space Jam where there was always score and pictures moving. Nice. We love it. We Shut love up, it. Emily. They got medical care. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah, they did not. They probably didn't. There was no season two because there was no actors left. <laughs> they all died of complications. Do you want to go through some of the, the stuff you have to show them? What stuff? That's oh, stuff. yeah. This is the... Number one here. My sister made this. Oh, oh well, it's breaking. So this, my sister made this. Um, it had the Playboy bunnies on it, but we crossed them out because we weren't sure if we would get in trouble for that. Um, and let's uh, I'm done with this. No, we're not watching our own stuff. I could watch. No, we're not doing <laughs> that. I'm so tired. All right. So my sister made this. It was really awesome. My sister actually, in the second episode in the infomercial scene, she's the one that's like presenting show, the box. Presenting the box. Um, because she, my sister, was actually going to play my sister in the show, and she was going to play. Oh my God! Here's the, the back. Here we go. So, long story short, Charlie Fox was an orphan on the street, and he was raised with his sister. He chose the name Charlie Fox for himself. Charlie Fox was the type of character that he was like an Aladdin type character who literally he thrived in bad scenarios, and he literally, I, I, in my head, I figured that he was actually the one that created the nighttime corporation and he convinced people that his sister was this goddess and so they kind of like all worshiped because he literally was setting up chess pieces because his goal was to build up the ultimate enemy to go up against and die to because he was obsessed with movies and the way i was going to end the show the way i was going to end the show is that um somehow danny swan would end up sacrificing himself and he would die and Charlie Fox would actually end up being the only one who lives, but Danny's sacrifice would actually be something he's at peace with, whereas Charlie would be alive and left with the fact that he never will, like, he'll never accomplish what he wanted to accomplish. And, like, he would have gone, it would have gone into those blaze of glory. Like, the final, the final thing, it's like, I'm going to defeat all these characters and, and die that away from him. an honorable death, and he got that taken away from him. And I like the idea that the only living character would be miserable about the fact that he lived because he just wanted to die. What season does my character die? You didn't die. Oh. You actually had a happy ending. Oh, cute. Yours was going to be the only character that had a happy ending. Oh, look at that. That was my goal. My goal <laughs> was that Danny sacrificed himself for you to have a happy ending. And I You guys would have been not friends for a little bit. I feel it. That would have been like in the fifth season. And I would have been like, ugh, why did you do that? Okay, but also for Emily, because you wanted to see the box. <laughs> ah! Open that box! Veggie, what's in the box? We have, we still have the box. <laughs> Open it. It's going to fly everywhere. <laughs> it 
says nothing good happens after, and then the bottom says midnight. I can't show it because there's bottle caps and a, a, a cigar, a pipe. <laughs> and all of these have, like, secret things. This says um, – Open in case of emergency. <laughs> I was. By by that season, yes, it would have probably been a gay romance Ooh, for me. <laughs> that's dark. It says this way out. And it has a, a blood Oh, my it. God. Well, uh, the idea was that the box catered itself to whoever opened it. Yeah. So the box would have catered itself to Danny <laughs> to be something dark. Uh, drinking games. We got beer pong, flip cup, king's cup, never have I ever. Oh, that's fun. Let's see. There's a king card. It says can't lose. Uh, one last thing. Oh, it's like a... A martini. A martini. Mock-up. <laughs> and then... Oh, the there's king. money. And drugs. Oh, shit. <laughs> there's a rolled-up dollar bill and cocaine. <laughs> Not actual cocaine. I shouldn't say that. That's fake coke. It's foca- focaine. It's focaine. It's flour. Or is okay. that even flour? Is that like baking Probably. soda? Y'all, this has been a goddamn treat. This was fun. A fun little trip down memory lane. I oh, haven't seen that wait. in years. And the final shot would have been uh, an overhead shot coming down on Danny as he slowly died. And it would end on Danny's watch. And it would tick, tick, cut to black, just like how the series opened. Oh. So the series would have opened with someone who had unalived themselves and died a bad death. And then it would have ended on someone who gave up their life for a better cause. Not – Nuts, not not aliving. It's just like you know they would have done something where they ended up you know getting wounded or something. Mm-hmm. It was very much a lost ending where Lost opens up on Jack's eye and then ends on Jack's eye. Spoilers to Lost. Yeah. So Wait, what? Who made the box? Um, Micah Gamash. Okay. You remember him no, from I acting class? I, I didn't. I don't think I met him. Well, shit, y'all. This has been. This is longer than I was expecting. <laughs> Thank you. Honestly, Megan. Dan Harmon copied me because you can watch the final scene of Community and it's literally the exact same. Hold on. That's what we're going to end on. Sorry that my – hold on. Community sitcom Side by side. <laughs> we're not watching it side by side. Shit. How do I find it? It's like from the last episode. Last episode sitcom. It's hard because it is a sitcom. So they're like, yeah. I know, I can't. Community is a sitcom. Uh, damn it. Last scene of the last episode, right? I think this is it. Okay, I think this is the scene that happened. Hold on. This came out like a year after Tinseltown or something. Oh, man. I don't know how likely season seven is. I mean, what show ever peaked after season six? Simpsons, Seinfeld, South Park, Friends. Those shows weren't hemorrhaging characters every year. Oh, I don't like that word, hemorrhaging. Yeah. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> what? Shirley came back, would that change your disposition? Shirley could get us back on formula, but I don't see it turning us around. Sorry, what's our formula? Well, basically. <laughs> I gotta make sure we don't get copyright strike for this. Right? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Can we put a pin in the B story and focus on the A story? I don't trust A stories. Never have, never will. I had a setup about a story that was so placeholder, the punchline came five words early. And I can tag it, too. <laughs> I'll just take a moment to explain the risks involved in all decisions made from here until eternity. Who the hell are you? I'm Frankie Dart. Is this combination going to work? Not my place to say, Abed. Lizard. <laughs> Fire hydrant. Obama. Shirley! Completely random shit. Wow. <laughs> wow. Let's watch mine one last oh time yeah. because I like mine better. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, God. So How many fucking things did I there. search? You got pencil town up. Oh, okay. And that's it. That's what the we end up. glorious guffaws. Tinsel Town was filmed before a live studio audience. <laughs> rhetorical query with obvious answer. Pause for applause. Teddy remark followed by deflating analysis of said query. Immediate brush off cap with final punchline. Uproarious goodbye. Unrelated interjection about food. Patronizing slur. 
Oblivious gratitude. I'm quirky. We know. Catch the Ugh, express disdain. Boris should ostentatious disregard. Those are big words. <laughs> Thank you, Stinky. I like my version better, too, and I love community. We should really lock that door. Oh, and in this scene, he shot Arya, and he was indirectly responsible for her death. Look at that. Okay, y'all. Um, is there anything you have to say before we finish this out? Well, uh, this has been super fun. Thank you for everybody who is here in the live with us and uh, has been commenting. Um, thank you for the people who tipped. Uh, thank you for everybody who's already subscribed. If you're not, make sure you hit that bell for notifications and subscribe because you have to subscribe first. Um, and like and comment. Um, oh, happy yeah. Halloween, y'all. Happy. This was, yeah. This was our little mini live Halloween special. I think next year we'll do something a little bit more like the 12 hour stream because that was super fun. Ha ha ha! Not an intermission. Whoops. Sorry. Rizzo got confused. Oh my goodness. Anyways, love you guys. Thanks for being here. Y'all are amazing. Thank you so much. Um, this was a lot of fun. It was really nice to like showcase this and be able to talk about it because it's confusing as hell if you don't know. Um, and you know what? Hopefully it leads to better things because yeah, I think Benji so. and I eventually would love to make another series because clearly I have a lot going on in my brain as does Benji. So it'd be a lot of fun. I just like have so little going on in my brain that it's good. I can like pull you down from all your other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was also fun to tear into our own stuff instead of somebody else's. Yeah. So, you know what? Yeah, we don't ho hold ourselves in higher regard. Uh, we love y'all. Uh, and until next time, I'm Rizzo. I'm Benji. Sweet dreams, pop stars. Keep watching. Uh.